All right, everyone can hear you now, guys. Naturally, <laughs> we're silent. At, right, I, I set it up, and everyone's just like, "Oh man, we're gonna stay silent." Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Shadow Stream Supporters Channel. I have with us today a wonderful cast of people. Uh, we have the Goose Twenty Twelve. We have the Country. And our guest of honor for today, we have Evil Rotten Bunny. Morning, everybody. So how is everyone doing today? How how's how's things been going for everybody? <laughs> we're alive. <laughs> we're we're alive. Well, Woo. I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm not good. You, you know I'm some succeeded. Sometimes that's all you need is, hey, I'm not dead. That's great enough for me. <laughs> but anyways, welcome in, everybody. Um, so for those who don't know what today is about, we are uh, at least uh, from what I've been told, we're bringing back something where we're going to interview a bunch of people within the uh, community and just kind of, you know, ask some general questions, ask some more personal questions for each streamer and everything. And just get to know everybody inside of the, you know, the group and everything. And, you know, maybe introduce you to your f new best friend or, in Goose and Bunny's case, your new worst enemy. Um, but we'll we'll find out. Um, and obviously, we'll learn a lot about everybody along the way. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Um, and I hope everyone else is, too. Hey, no problems, gal. Thank you for the lurk. All right, so before we begin, Country, would you like to go ahead and do the announcements now, or are we just jumping straight into this? Oh, we'll start with Bunny. We'll, we'll break up the interviews with some announcements. <laughs> All right. So for those who aren't aware, this is Evil Rotten Bunny. Um, she is one of our council members. She is in charge of uh, the raid captains and everything, doing a wonderful job. Um, I Totally, I'm not saying that because she's my boss, even though three of my bosses are all here. So, you know, this is great for me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so Bunny, would you like to just go ahead and, you know, tell everybody who you are, what you stream and everything? Get that out of the way. Um, okay. Who am I? I'm Eagle Rat Bunny. I mean, who am I? How do you answer that question? No. Nah. Um... <laughs> There. I'm just a girl who loves the game and I uh, enjoy company while I stream, so that's pretty much it. And as for streaming, um, I am hashtag not a Fortnite streamer. I am a variety streamer. I do like shooting games, uh, PvP and survival games most of all. So yeah, but I'm always up to try different things. That's pretty much about what I stream and who I am. Um, oh, I do spend some time um in costumes doing charity work going up to hospitals visiting sick kids in costume raising funds for different charities in costume um most of them are star wars costumes but then i have other ones like officer judy hops from zootopia um harley quinn uh things like that as well it's just things i love to do awesome sorry L working on things as well trying to get you guys heard and everything so yeah yeah i'm probably a bit softer than normal with my voice but that's because i have the flu guys i'm sorry i'll try to sit really close to the mic your favorite anime zootopia absolutely <laughs> <laughs> an anime? i i don't think that counts as an anime especially because no. it's a because it's a movie um <laughs> country was soft too and that never happens all right i'll raise country up a little bit sometimes he does get a little loud but i'll, I'll raise him up to 100 percent. why not all right I told I'm, I'm known to scream so <laughs> I've, I've, I've been in i've been in some of the uh the streams where you have screamed so you know literally fear though it's different <laughs> Um, but yeah, so going forward with the questioning and everything, so we've obviously covered who you are, what you stream, 
Um, and I kind of covered your role in the community beforehand. You did. Um, you did. But what what brought you to streaming, Bunny? Like, what was what was the thing that was like? I want to give this a try. Okay, it wasn't really I want to give this a try thing. It was more of I get very confused and very lost quite easily in games, as you a lot of you might see. And um, my friends used to be like, we can't help you. We don't know what you mean. Where are you? What are you doing? And I try to explain it and they just don't get it. And then back in those days, I was mm-hmm. just on Xbox and they're like, get on Mixer and stream so we can see where you are and guide you because Mixer was a thing for Xbox for streaming. And so I did that and just so that they could see what I was doing and try and guide me. And then all of a sudden, all these other people are coming in and trying to guide me as well. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then that was for like eight months. And then Mixer sort of died. And I'm like, well, I actually enjoy this thing. So I switched over to Twitch and slowly over time built up, reworked the channel over and over. But, yeah, it was basically just because I got lost and confused that I started streaming. (laughs) Absolutely fair. I also can definitely say that was part of the reason I started streaming Um, just because it was very easy to like show my friends where I am. It's like, just watch this. Um, So yeah. Awesome. And yes, absolutely. Merc's rage uh, mixer, the OG RIP and peace it. Yeah. It was so sad when mixer shut down. Most definitely. Hey, welcome in Sashu. Um, but yeah, going going forward, um, so obviously you're a VR streamer and everything. What made you decide to be a VR streamer? And then what uh, made you choose like the bunny as your model and everything? Like what, did the name come first or did the model come first? The name come first. That was my gamer tag. Um, okay, my model. Oh, no, she's moving. I thought she stopped talking. <laughs> um. Yeah, Evil Rotten Bunny was like probably my fourth game of tag and when I finally come up with it, it's like that was it. And so I had that when I started streaming and I'm like, well, that just makes a name for the stream, you know. You've already got your game of mm-hmm. tag, it's just going to be your stream name. Um, and I've become a VTuber because I do not like to be in front of the camera. I like to be behind the camera. I love taking photos. Do not. I don't like people posting photos of me. I don't like photos of me. So it's like, well, it's just a logical step to become a VTuber. And, well, the name's Evil Rotten Bunny, so I had to create something based off that, you know. Absolutely. And the way I created the gamer tag itself was I was sitting in my gaming room thinking, I need a new gamer tag. I hate my gamer tag. And I was, like, looking around my gaming room and there's like posters and stuff everywhere and pop vinyls and all that and I'm like staring at Harley Quinn on the big poster in front of me and I'm like I like that and like what can I use from that what can I steal and then sitting underneath Harley Quinn on the table is my pop vinyl of uh, Judy Hopps from Zootopia and it just formed looking at the two of them and it just formed Evil Rotten Bunny come from those two basically cool (laughs) awesome hey no yeah like i mean for me specifically with my gamer tag of recon monkey like that just came about because my dad was like well you like shooting games and you act like a monkey so recon monkey and i'm like you know what that absolutely is better than anything i came up with i'm going with it uh yeah (laughs) (laughs) but yeah so um so obviously you've been in this for a little while and everything. Um, you have a de- a very decent sized following and everything, Bunny. Um, but what what tips would you offer to maybe like newer streamers or anything like that? Would there be any particular part where you'd be like, this is something I wish I had known when I started? Um, oh, when you really start, when you're first starting, um, even if you're just on console and not on PC, find a spare device and get your chat up. Your chat is number one. You've got to talk to chat. Even if you don't think there's anyone watching or that, just talk to yourself. Describe what you're doing in the game. Always chat, even if there's just locus chat, because it takes time to learn to continually to chat. I'm not a talker. If I'm not streaming throughout the day, 
I barely speak a word. It's like um, that's just it. But you've got to learn to talk. Talk to your chat, whether they're there or not. Just talk about your, your day. Talk about your game. Just continually going. And always watch your chat and see your chat when they are talking to you. Do not, number one, do not ignore your chat. First, quickest way to lose someone from your chat is if they jump in and say hi and you don't even acknowledge that they're there. Just, yeah, chat is number one important thing. Absolutely. Great advice. Um, Definitely. And like bouncing off of what Bunny said, guys, um, if you, even if it's like you get like, I think one of the things I was recommended was get like a stuffed animal or something, place it in front of you and just talk to that. Like just continuously keep get in the mindset of continuously talking. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, so obviously, you know, mod teams are an important part of any streamer's tool, especially when you start getting up into like the higher numbers and stuff. Um, what made you choose your mods or what brought about like um, your mods and what has the relationship with them been for you? Oh, interesting. Um, to start off with, because it was for friends like, guiding me through gaming, through Mixer, Um, those friends, they were like my clan from um, Destiny. We played Destiny. That's pretty much all I played back then. Um, And they sort of, well, we'll mod your channel because, you know, when you're new you get all that, want to be famous and all that stuff, you Mm -hmm. know. So they all signed up to be a mod. and um, But they're not streamers they're not into that stuff and some of them will come into my channel still some don't you know so over time it's like well I know you want to help but you're not really there so you can't really help so but in that time I built up a community and I'd built up some great friendships and through that I chose a few new mods that are just um, I don't want to sound biased but I think I have the best mods in the world um, they are awesome to the fact that our friendship is so great that in a week's time I'm supposed to be, if this flu goes away, flying to the other side of Australia for a big gaming convention mm-hmm. and my mods are all decided they heard I'm going. They all brought tickets. They're all going too, including the mod that lives in the UK. She's flying nice. over all the way to come and meet me and come to this gaming convention. So it's like, yeah, it's a bit surreal that that's going to actually happen but yeah, so just that's yeah, just great friends and that that we made through the streaming journey and they became our mods. Heck yeah. Awesome to hear <laughs> that your mod from UK is coming to, you know, see you and everything too. That's awesome. I know, I'm kinda nervous because like she's coming over for two weeks and I can only do one week over in Melbourne. So she's actually going to spend the other week back here at my place. I'm like, you're coming to the burrow. This is scary. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely fair and understandable. But yeah, so awesome. Love hearing about like your journey with your mods and everything. And like, especially like the original mods being your uh, destiny squad and everything. That's great. Um, but yeah, going on, um, what's, so this is a double part question. Um, so what's been the best part of your journey as a streamer and what's been like the worst part of your journey as a streamer? Uh, best I'd say would have to be one, the friendships I have made through streaming. Like, like I said, with the mods and all that, it's like Mm -hmm. I've made many friends and the community I've built, like I've joined other communities like SSS and it's just amazing, but I've got my own little community as well that's built up and it's, yeah, I think that has to be the friendships and the community, you know. Nice. Um, the worst part, I'd have to say, it's not really a bad part, but the worst part was before I had a schedule, before I made myself a set schedule, which I always thought, I'm not making a schedule because that makes us a job, blah, blah, blah. But before I made a schedule, I would just, right, I'm going to game, I'm going to stream. And then I would be like 12, 18 hours later still streaming and I would just make myself absolutely exhausted Mm -hmm. and it just started to wear me down. And so then I made a schedule and then that sort of fixed that. But that was probably the worst part. I touch wood, lucky enough that I haven't been hit by any of the hate raids or any of that stuff that other people have copped. So my journey for streaming has been really good and really blessed actually. Nice. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Lord knows like a lot of people don't realize it, but you can definitely get very burned off, burned 
out on this as well. Like it's it's definitely something that can happen. Um, but yeah, so, uh, one last question for you, and this one was actually submitted by, uh, the goose himself. Um, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what is your, uh, hate relationship with water? I, I can't stomach the taste of it. And it's like, <laughs> yes, I know there's different brand waters and there's water from the tap. And a lot of people say a water in Australia is awful from the tap, but. It really depends on where you are because it's not all that bad. They, you know, they use mm-hmm. chlorine and chemicals and they make it pretty good. But as a child, I could go and pick up the garden hose or hose pipe or whatever you want to call it um, and drink from the hose, you know, mm-hmm. and it didn't faze me. But when I hit high school, um, they have the cold water fountains and it was just disgusting and from then on, it was like every time I tried to drink water, no matter what type, it was just disgusting. And after I have too much water, I actually physically feel sick. It's awful. But mm. in saying that, you guys are going to, I am sitting here with a bottle of water in front of me. I drank four bottles of water yesterday without streaming, without being prompted. I'm on my three quarters of the way through one today. But that is only because I'm ill. When I'm ill, I can't drink anything but water it's the weirdest thing i can't stand the taste of it that's why it's got like a whole orange cut up and diced into it and a half a bottle of honey but <laughs> <laughs> i'm drinking water as we speak i but mean yeah no it just makes me feel sick i can't stomach the taste of it no and people are what it doesn't have a taste i've lined up different brands in front and i can tell you the different brands they all taste different that's weird Oh, absolutely. Especially, uh, I think cause someone did like a test and everything and like the acidity levels in different water brands too, is like, it's ridiculous how like different they are, but yeah. Goose- at- sorry, no, you continue. <laughs> I was going to say goose is right. I fought with a bottle of water the other day and I lost, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I was trying to be a good girl. I thought I was in the city picking up my gaming PC cause it had to get minor repair. And the guy was taking too long and my drink was empty. I'm like, I'll be a good girl. I'll buy a bottle of water instead of Coke. And I'm like, but I've got to put an orange in it just to make it doable. And sitting in the car and they have that little lip thing that you have to break the seal to open it and like Mm -hmm. to twist the lid off so that I can put the orange in it. And I'm weakling. Yeah, I do karate, but I'm a weakling. I could not open it. So I cut the knife out of the glove box and I'm stabbing at it and it's like straight through my thumb. I sliced my thumb in half. I was oh, like, no. yep. The water attacked me. It's the water's fault. <laughs> well, I am very sorry to hear the water hurt you in that way. <laughs> yep. See, me and the water, big enemies. But yeah, oh, really I- so, uh, Bunny, there has been two hydrates redeemed. I think those are both for you. <laughs> oh, I am <clears throat> I am drinking water, so you are lucky. <laughs> Only because I need to. My throat's killing me. Absolutely fair. But yes, absolutely like adding flavors to the water and stuff is top tier. Because like regular water, yeah, it doesn't really have a taste or anything. Like it, you can definitely taste like a difference in it, but it doesn't have like a taste you can define per se. But like when you add flavors to it, that's when water reaches its peak for me. Well, I actually just discovered that adding the honey in it yesterday, like, because I put the orange in it. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, they say honey's good for your throat. I'm like, and I had the honey bottle there, and I'm like, I just pour a heap in it and shook it up, and it's actually quite nice. I was actually pleasantly surprised. (laughs) Yeah, you tell him, Eddie. All the shut up pieces (laughs) in chat. Love it. Love to see it. (laughs) Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, right. I'm I'm in Indiana, so tap water is absolutely disgusting, especially with all the limestone and everything in it. It's ugh. I I can't drink unfiltered water here. I would die. Like some places, depending on where you go here, like um, like in if you're at a hotel or somewhere, you can actually smell the chlorine in the water when you're having a shower, and that it's really gross. Oh, that yeah, I I don't think I like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being in the swimming pool. 
Absolutely. And fair, fair warning to everyone. When you're going into a swimming pool, don't drink the water. It's not healthy <laughs> for you. <laughs> it's a bit like don't eat the yellow snow. Exactly. That wor- words of wisdom here today. <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much, Bunny. Um, is there anything you would want to say to everyone watching before, like obviously your part of the interview is over or anything you want to leave with, even if Can it's I goose hate? one question to Bunny? If yes, it's absolutely. Easy. Absolutely. Okay, so Bunny, there's one thing we haven't talked about yet, and that's you starting to do karate. So here's what <laughs> I need to know. Yes. How many, how many kindergartners could you take before they overmatch you? <laughs> Um, am I allowed to hit kindergartners? <laughs> In this scenario, you are. It, it's, it's strictly karate. It's for the sport. Um, kindergartners. I might have an actual chance against kindergartners. Uh, probably half a dozen. <laughs> so, so you're going six before the, there's just too many of them? <laughs> yep. I kick them all in the head. <laughs> well, actually, actually, I would kick them in the head because, like, I can't get my leg up high. You know how some karate people, they can kick high? Mm-hmm. I can't because I shattered my pelvis, so I don't have that movement. Um, so I've been taught by my senseis when I kick, aim for the shin or aim for the thigh, and so that's where I kick. So that would be kindergarten in the head. <laughs> there, there you go. All it takes is about four of them to <laughs> grab your legs and then on it, on each side, and I think you're in trouble there. <laughs> yeah, fair. Six, very fair. Here. Goose, you want to know about my punching bag? Yes. Um, I have written in big letters against uh, on the top of my punching bag the, and given it a name, and it is called The Goose. <laughs> <laughs> fair. Absolutely fair. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah. Uh, any other questions for Bunny from anyone in the chat or even, you know, the goose themselves since he seems to be asking a bunch of questions in chat when he's right here with us. I know, right? I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> Plus I was told to shut up multiple times, so I figured I would just stick to chat. Oh, we were allowed to tell you to shut up. I God I wasn't damn, told I about this. I wasn't told said, about I this. Listen, I just <laughs> that I was told. Of course it's Raid Captain's Ghost Link since I kind of just got a promotion so I seen when I woke up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely ghost, 100%. But yeah. yeah. Draco's here for you, Eddie. Draco had to come along because Draco knew you'd be here. <laughs> is Draco the bestest? Absolutely. <laughs> for those that aren't aware, Draco is the um, little dragon in the back floating on top of the mushroom. Wonderful. <laughs> Do the other animals have names too, or those just, or they're just hanging out? It's just a little bunny. It likes to um, in the bottom corner there. It likes to um, just greet everyone. And the duck. Well, you all know what I think of ducks. I think I might call that duck goose. Oh <laughs> huh, yeah. I wonder who she could be. You know. Yeah. <laughs> and let's not forget Draco is um what past the ninety on a I know. Right now. Uh, nice. on that triple digit guys and that's only the win streaks we see during stream because they can be battled off stream like when other people battle their dragons and so you know one day we might come into stream and draco will have lost his crowns because he's lost a battle but no nah, sitting on 90 plus yet. win streaks i so think far. draco's taking karate too i know Absolutely. right <laughs> I mean, as, as someone who took Taekwondo for like five years, you know, martial yeah, arts has always no, been. Actually, yeah. Mercs. Actually, there's a no Mercs. It's not from Harry Potter. Even though I am a big, massive Harry Potter nerd, um, Draco just means dragon. So that's why mm-hmm. I go to Draco. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, I think that is all the questions we have for you, Bunny. Um, so I know you're going to be gone for a little while. Do you have any like announcements specifically for like your streaming or anything like that you would like to shout out or anything like that? Um, pretty much I was supposed to go on break from stream next week because I am going away and having my mods come over and that. But um, pretty much I won't be streaming from now until I get back. Unfortunately, due to this, I need to kick this cold or they're not going to let me get on the fl- on the plane unfortunately 
Fair. That's Absolutely about fair. It, yeah. And thank nice. you for the shout out, country. Yeah, come check out my stream if you haven't been in there. I promise <laughs> I'm only evil mainly to goose. I don't bite. Oh, well, I do, but you know, I promise it won't be too hard. <laughs> Can confirm goose is usually the focus of ire with Bunny. That's so nice. <laughs> don't believe him. Anyone that believes the goose it's not team goose it's team bunny because Such the goose will actually goose. stab you in the back don't <laughs> trust a word he has said to me yes i'll be your friend i'll protect you and then two seconds later he stabbed me in the back literally we we're playing and among she was us very well but, you know. no one hurt her. <laughs> absolutely he also likes to uh throw his fellow survivors to the killers and dead by daylight not that i've experienced that firsthand or anything I claim self defense. <laughs> oh, if you get if you get an amore on goose in Dead by Daylight, it's the bestest feeling ever. <laughs> Especially when you play as Legion Bunny and you just get to stab that knife straight in his stomach and just rip his stomach open and guts falls out everywhere. It's just beautiful. <laughs> as you can see, Bunny's Bunny's very friendly, doesn't like violence. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but Bunny, for people Bunny that want to uh, check you out. Uh, where? What time should they should look? What time should they look? When it was? Um, I start at it'll be five a.m. American time, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's Eastern like, time. Yeah, I start at um so uh, Thursdays, Fridays, every second Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I start at um the five five a.m. I'm guessing it's EST. It's mm-hmm. like five uh, five p.m. my time. It is. Which is West Australian time, but yeah, um, yeah, that's yeah, what compile I compile in and donate to her ongoing challenge. Oh God, no! Do not do do not. Oh, do what, what what challenge is this? Yeah. <laughs> um. So my mods know I absolutely detest spicy. Like I have a thing in my stream where you can make me take spicy beans, and they are murder. They even the sriracha, the plain one, is murder. They have started a community challenge to make me eat the hottest, spiciest noodles you can find. Oh, no. And they put my friend Tubby in charge of buying them. And he can, like, I gave him a bottle of the hottest reaper sauce there is. I gave him all the reaper beans and he loved them, didn't even feel the heat. So I'm scared if they get it because he's just going to, yeah, it's going to be hell. (laughs) I'm not looking forward to that. But for those that are worried about that with me, you had five days left, five stream days left. Because I'm not going to be streaming those next five days and then I'm going away, I have extended the challenge. So it'll technically work out. You'll still have your five stream days to contribute. So don't worry. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I'm, don't, don't. Anyway, don't contribute. You don't want to contribute. No, we don't want these. We don't want these spicy noodles. No, I don't. Absolutely <laughs> fair. C- Country and I also know a little bit about spice, so... Yeah, yeah I won't touch those noodles, noodles again. I did the spicy ramen. Mm-mm. That's too oh, much for me. But you did those three cheese ball things too. Yeah, those those like. cheese balls are easy compared to the noodles. <laughs> yeah, so so for anyone wondering what the cheese balls are, I do have them right here on my desk. They are, uh, yeah, two million two hundred thousand Scoville. Which, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, that is extremely hot. It is not anywhere close to the ramen that Bunny is talking about, but it is still extremely hot. And I, I hate these cheese balls. Sriracha. I suffer with sriracha. Forget the rest. <laughs> exactly. Because the ramen's a liquid. It's like a liquid heat. It, it's mm-hmm. a lot worse. Absolutely. It's all over your mouth, all over your lips. Oh and God! <laughs> at least with the powder one, really good. it'll go away. <laughs> but with the liquid, it it takes a lot longer because it coats your mouth. Oh, oh God! I never thought about that. No, do not contribute. What if you do? Do not contribute. <laughs> yeah, we're looking at you, Goose. <laughs> oh, I've already got like over four thousand. It, it's fine. See, I'm it's glad a, Twitch puts a limit. I'm glad Twitch puts a I'm limit. I'm disappointed. They put it's a, a, it's a very, <laughs> fan, it's a very lovely friendship. I myself at this point, we're close enough. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming in today, Bunny. Thank you for you know all answering all of our questions, uh, having a little bit of fun with us. Um, no problem. 
definitely get to feeling better because like yeah and en- enjoy next week and everything i really hope you get better in time and you can go have some fun because it sounds like a lot of fun yeah i'm looking forward to it i mean it's all just um it's a gaming convention so right everything like from pc to console to tabletop to old style to there'll be um some of the top australian gaming teams like from fortnite and other games like Ooh. cod and all that there you know doing things so yeah it's gonna be really good like last time i went um the develop one of the developers and one of the voice actors from destiny 2 was there so that just that blew me away because i love destiny 2 so you know mm-hmm. it's just yeah, it's definitely gonna be worth it but again thank you all for having me and guys if you're in chat and you are not part of sss go check them out they are the one of the first steps you need to a great community towards for streaming absolutely and plus if you join us you get to you know interact more with bunny so it's a win-win right exactly just stay away from the goose always stay away from the goose (laughs) (laughs) all right guys thank you so much and last of all embrace the madness guys embrace the madness (laughs) thank you buddy thank you buddy I will leave the call when I can find where I put my Discord. No, absolutely fair. (laughs) (laughs) See you guys. Bye. I'll be in chat, though. Bye. All right. So that was our most wonderful Evil Rotten Bunny. Um, Once again, for anyone in the chat, if you would like to join us and be interviewed yourself, we do have a redeem for it. Um, Feel free to go ahead and use that because... I, I'm interested in interviewing anyone. I'll I'll interview both of these guys if I need to, but you know, we want to give you guys the opportunity to do this as well. Um, before we go on to the next one, do you want to do the announcements now, country? Now it'll work, or at least we'll do some of them. We'll do like you know, split it up. We'll, a we'll, we'll do a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Little, you know, break it up. It's like a commercial break. <laughs> All right, first, we're just going to announce the uh, the featured members for this week. Uh, these are people that have went above and beyond around the community, so. We've got OGT Nasty. Uh, he did, was, attended the most raids and also supported around the socials a lot. Uh, Rebels TV, again, for raids and uh, just general support. Uh, Kareen really picked up uh, on some of the events this last week, so so they are getting the featured member for that. Great Games Live, who I believe was just in here. I think they even dropped a raid. Was that was that them? Did that was them, right? yes. Look at that. Look at <laughs> Paying attention all over the place. Uh, they're getting featured this week for uh, for support on the socials. Uh, Mass Bandit for bringing the most people into the community in the last week, and Mario Man for just general support. Also, we do have a featured role coming up. It's it's going to be like a super support role, you know, for for a longer period of time, and it is for going even above and beyond that. You'll have a different role, you'll have a different spot when you're live. You'll be above everybody, and overall, just just other you know benefits that we're trying to show to our most supportive members. So there is in the announcements channel a spot to vote for the name that you like. You know, we we don't, we didn't have any great ideas. So like we'll just let the community pick. So it is the most recent announcement. It's out there today. Head in there. There's seven options. You can pick which one you like the most. And uh, raid Shadow Legends is an option, kind of. So if you're if you're looking to vote for one, that's that's the one I'm picking. That's what I got, monkey. Awesome. Absolutely. Yes. And make sure, uh, like, just to reiterate. Make sure to vote today because, like he said, it ends tonight. So if you, you know, want us, huh? That's the next one. Oh, never mind. Don't, don't, don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. We're all good. <laughs> has a week left. <laughs> We're good. It's it's good. Cool. Awesome. Hey, look at this guy. Do you do you want to show yourself, or are we just gonna look at the? Uh... Oh sure. Well, I figured you know. <laughs> I was torn because country had a camera and you didn't. It's like, ah, who do I single out? And I was like, nah, I'll single out country. That seems right. I mean, I technically do have a camera. It's just being used for something That's other true. than so Discord. I guess I'm the odd goose out now. You are. I'll turn that on. With my big <laughs> green behind me. Whee. I mean, I've got some like what bright blue. I guess is the what I'm using right now. Yeah, but yours is an actual room. Mine's just like look, the color green. <laughs> Oh boy, is it gonna let us see your face? Oh, that's interesting. Because I'm definitely oh, sure. Oh, there, there it is. Okay, it's I'm it's so sorry, everyone. You had to see that. 
Oh, creepy. <laughs> that that combines like you and country like together. Slowly. Yeah. I was like, oh no. <laughs> All of my nightmares. Country. All of my <laughs> nightmares put together. <laughs> We're coming for you, be gone. Joke's on you. I'm ready. <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, we'll we'll never know until uh, it actually happens, but most definitely. That is a redeem for a hydrate. Yes, thank you very much. Drinking some. If Country Gatorade, and Goose to... had babies, that would be Ew. a horror I don't think the world needs. <laughs> that, those would be terrible children. All right, so uh, hello and welcome in. This is uh, the Goose 2012 for anyone who doesn't know who he is. Um, he is in charge of the events channel. He is... Once again, another one of my direct bosses. Um, yep. But yeah, so Goose, um, explain more about yourself. Who Who is the oh, Goose? I don't think you want to know, but uh, <laughs> the Goose is just an old fart uh, who has gone well past his own age and stumbles his way through games and screams a lot. Uh, that I think that sums me up pretty nice. Oh, and I eat really stupid things because chat wants to feed me and I'm a very picky eater, so it doesn't work well. <laughs> fair it, it, it i will say it's always fun to go into a goose stream and make him eat like his his bags of mystery and everything oh, it's wonderful there are some nasty ones lately he makes some great faces when he gets a bad one Nothing definitely as bad as the vegemite though um, oh that, my that has to be the worst reaction i've had so far did, so did you do it correctly though with like the butter no, on didn't. you just I ate the vegemite directly a tiny little spoon and Oh uh, yeah, and directly in, and it was miserable. Because I will I'm sure it tastes great when done properly. Yes, when and it's done properly. Yelled at me at the moment I was doing it. Like that's mm. not how you eat it. It's like well, this I'm eating it. Ah. <laughs> yeah, every time like I've eaten Vegemite, I will say it's a hundred percent better if you do it the way that you're supposed to, because I've be tried. Worse just i did it yeah i've tried just vegemite by itself and yes i about gagged as well goose so you are not alone in that <laughs> yeah but mistakes were made oh absolutely i i mean let, let's be honest we can all say that about something we've done right <laughs> but yeah so um going along the same lines we did with bunny goose um obviously we have some regular questions for you i'll throw in a few you know Naturally. personal ones and everything but so let's start off with what brought you to streaming what what inspired uh, you to you know be the goose that we all know and sometimes love now so I'm going to let you all know there is someone you can blame. They're not part of the community, but there is a streamer <laughs> out there who it's all their fault uh, that I'm here now. And they don't even know it. Um, it's just they inspired me through watching their content. So uh, the short version of all and uh, the first person is not the person to blame. They just got me hooked. Um, I was kind of bored during all the lockdowns and stuff like most of us were and decided it's like, you know, let's, you know, find some new people to watch. I, I didn't really watch any streams. I watched like YouTube clips and stuff like that. And I went and found this, strange enough, an Australian streamer. The Aussie started me out um, named Mr. <laughs> A-Game. A fantastic streamer. He does mostly Nintendo content. Uh, hilarious guy. Uh, watched his content for a long time, especially Mario Maker. And that, you know, I, it was so interesting to watch. He was very engaging. He was very friendly. Uh, he had a lot of fun. He was always, you know, made the best faces. Uh, but still watching him to this day. Still love his content. Uh, but from him, I found some other streamers and eventually stumbled upon a guy named DGR Dave, a uh, much larger streamer who, you know, uh, typical stream for him, you're going to see four digits and viewers, a uh, really big guy, full time streamer, uh, but great guy. And watching him game and realize it's like he's pretty much the same age as me. He has some of the same behavior, some of the same likes as me. He's the type of person that I think I would get along with in real life. Um, just, you know, a uh, friendlier, more put together version with, you know, kids and all that, and has figured out what he's doing in life. Uh, so like me, if I knew what was going on, um, but watched him for a while and then finally decided it's like, you know, I can do that. I think I could be stupid on stream and get people to watch me. I'm not going to have, you know, you know, I'm not going to be streaming almost every day of the week and make it a full-time job or anything. I've got a good job, um, but it could be fun. It was something I want to try out. So for my birthday, two years ago, my 30th birthday, uh, Mrs. The Goose surprised me by setting up a room for me to stream in. Um, I got, you know, 
uh, uh, back then it was on my crappy 10 year old laptop with a free camera that actually is, I still have it. It's still really good quality, strangely. Um, <laughs> I was set up in this little tiny room with the camera balanced on top of a couple of large textbooks from college. Um, that way it would go over my laptop and be able to see me. And then I just did PlayStation gaming because I had PS4 across the room and that was it. Uh, very simple start. Uh, but that's like, you know what? It, it could just be some fun. Uh, it'd be interesting to see. Started out with no viewers and just was dumb in the game by myself. Uh, plus, it coincided with the release of the fourth Crash Bandicoot. Uh, so Dang. started out doing a full playthrough of that because I'm a huge Crash Bandicoot fan. Uh, played the games growing up and still love them to this day. And it's like, you know, this is perfect. A new game that I'm excited about. We'll try streaming. And it was a bumpy ride at first. It had like one viewer that would pop in now and then. And that was it. And well, then uh, kind of a segue onto what's coming up and questioning I'm uh, supposing is uh, found a certain community that really helped me grow all of a sudden. And the rest is history. I wonder who that could have been. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. Um, and honestly, again, Go- Goose is definitely one of my favorite people to watch because his reactions are just absolutely always just out there. And it's hilarious to and, watch. And I will throw out, you know, I, early on, some people thought that maybe I was just hamming it up. And I do ham up things a bit. Um, it's just who I am. Uh, but no, most of those reactions are genuine. My, you know, screaming at spicy foods. That's just me being a wimp at spicy foods. Um, by disgusting everything that I eat and uh, look like I'm going to throw up the times I've nearly thrown up on stream. Those are real. I'm not faking those gags. That's me just suffering uh, because I'm too picky of an eater. Uh, short version is um, I'm what's known as a super taster. Sounds really cool. It just means I have extra taste buds, which means everything tastes really strong to me. Uh, mm-hmm. So strong flavored things like broccoli, coffee, things like that. Um, just absolutely revolting. Can't stand them. And so that's why I have those like such visceral reactions is because um, everything is amplified to me constantly. And some of those things are just, they, they're too much. They overpower me and I suffer. All right. Yeah. What's your most hated food asked by, of course, your favorite uh, person. So Funny. I, I have a few that kind of, you know, they come in neck and neck on things. Obviously everyone knows my hatred of bananas. Um, that is right up there, probably at least top five, probably top three, uh, raw broccoli as well. <laughs> um, but there's one thing that I think would rank above all of them, probably my least favorite food ever, but I can't say what it is yet because I'm keeping it a secret for a sub goal, uh, that's running right now, uh, mm-hmm. to see, um, if we can reach the goal that I've set. Um, I'll have to eat it live on stream. And it, it's something so vile to me that the very smell of it across a room, I can be across the room and somebody can open a container. And I have to leave because it's just like, it, it just overpowers me. I gag when it comes close. It's that bad. Um, I avoid it like the plague and I, I'm kind of hoping like <laughs> I, I like hitting goals, but at the same time, I wouldn't mind falling like one short. So I don't have to eat it. Uh, but there is something out there that I hate more than bananas. If you can believe it. I was also hoping he would spill it uh, accidentally, Bunny. But yeah, so I came um, close. I just stopped myself. (laughs) So we'll we'll continue on with this. So obviously, you were talking about like you know the sub goal and everything. What what exactly is that for, Goose? Like what what's Uh, what's going on? As some of y'all may know, and that was a shameless plug. I don't mind the (laughs) name. I have a uh, big event coming up this Friday. Actually, I'm celebrating two years on Twitch to the day, September 30th. Uh, so my birthday was actually this Monday, September 26th. Um, I hit 32. Uh, and so it was right after my birthday that I started streaming. It was just a few days later. So I usually celebrate them together. So it's a birthday stream anniversary uh, combo event. And I'm doing a 24 hour stream of suffering uh, with all <laughs> kinds of stupidity going on. And, and no, it's not sauerkraut, by the way, chat. Um, I've had sauerkraut, not a big fan. But it, it's not revolting to me. Um, I love sauerkraut. It's, just, it's not something I would go out of my way for. I could see it being good on certain things like a Reuben or something. Uh, but um, anyways, I'm, I'm doing 24 hours, Call of the Lamb. I uh, got some special redemptions. I'm doubling up on a lot of stuff uh, just to celebrate the fact that we've survived two years somehow. Um, <laughs> everything's going to be just 
ridiculous, but the sub goals, uh, every 25 subs is a new food that I hate. Um, and the counter is already going. We're about halfway between the first and second goal already. But the last one is just big question marks because uh, I haven't revealed it. it. Building up to that, it's like um, the spicy V8 is the first one, uh, which we've already met. Then pickles, um, a granola bar that I have that I really hate because it's got a bunch of nuts in it. And I can't stand the taste of uh, like almonds and stuff. It's just, ugh, it tastes like dirt to me. I don't get it. Um, after that is the banana, uh, then raw broccoli, because those two are pretty much tied for some of my least favorite foods. And then there's that mystery at the top. I don't know if we go way above that. I'm not expecting that to happen, but maybe I'll find some terrible combination of some of my least favorites and just really kill myself at that oh, point. Heck yeah. But, um, make a smoothie. Again, I'm not, yeah. And Carswell, thank you. Broccoli is nasty, especially just raw broccoli. Um, it's that and bananas have come well and vegemite those three are the only things that made me almost throw up on stream uh but this fourth one that we're that we might have to reveal might just push me over the limit i'm just gonna warn you i'll have a trash can at the ready it's that bad y'all are killing me with the broccoli I'll, I'll hate sure. Ugh, i hate broccoli so much i love broccoli i've always I loved love broccoli broccoli it's one of my favorites i mean yeah. broccoli i can almost stomach uh quick fun fact actually when i was uh, Mrs. The Goose and I were still dating. Um, I went over to her house, you know, met the family and everything. And we had dinner there. And one of the things they had was they had a bunch of broccoli as a side dish. And I didn't want to be rude. So I took a little bit of everything, knowing that I wouldn't like the broccoli. And I forced broccoli down, forced it past the gag reflex. Mm -hmm. I hid the fact that I was just suffering the whole time. Only took a few pieces. But I forced it down in the end. And I told her afterwards, she's like, you really didn't have to do that. It's like, no, I need to impress the family. <laughs> and so I ate broccoli for Mrs. The Goose while we were still dating to prove just how committed I was. Did it work? Did, did it impress them? I, I don't know. It didn't <laughs> disimpress them. Did, I mean, they seem to like me. I mean, I, I would hope it worked because like they're, they're kind of, you know, she is now Mrs. The Goose. So Yes, and has been for <laughs> over 10 years now. Oh, that's adorable. As of May, it was 10 years. So, real quick, oh. I don't want to miss this question because it, uh -oh. it comes from Eddie. Uh, why uh -oh, is Team Eddie. Bunny better than Team Goose? Um, because oh, yes, that why is a good one. slander, <laughs> misinformation. You are fake news. Next question. <laughs> 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 yeah, Team Bunny all the way. Um, but anyways, yeah, moving on. Um, so yeah, uh, so much like I asked Bunny and everything. I know, right? He he. We we won't get a straight answer, Eddie. I'm so nope. sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, much like I asked Bunny, what tips would you have for like new streamers and stuff? Like anything personal, maybe that happened with you, or you know. Bunny um, stole the yeah. yeah the one I would normally go with uh, talking about you know interactive chat. As I said, my early streams before I found the SSS. Uh, if I was lucky, I had one person that sometimes tuned in for part of the stream, and they would chat me up a bit and. Um, I'm very grateful for that person. Um, and, you know, that, that really helped. I even had Mrs. The Goose would log on another computer with such crappy internet that sometimes that would slow us down too much mm -hmm. to where her viewing would crash. And so I was still, a, I couldn't even get a one viewer average before I joined SSS. I was at 0 0.8 um, oh. for a very long time. I could not even break one, let alone three, uh, before I joined. Uh, but... Uh, for me, one of the big things beyond, you know, interact with chat, even when chat's dead, because I, I still talk a lot. I would joke. I would even joke about it. it's like no one's here to hear this, but I guarantee someone on the Internet is cringing somewhere. What I'm about to say, and I would tell a stupid joke. Um, it just happened. Uh, and yes, everyone is team edgy. Obviously, that's not even a question. Team edgy all um, the way. But I would say one of the big things uh, starting out as a streamer is, you know, experiment a little bit. Uh, try some different games. Try some different, you know, some different things. But, you know. Be yourself and figure out what that means. Uh, so for me, it was being, uh, you know, not the skilled gamer. I tell people all the time, if you're looking for speed runs and pro gaming strats and, you know, uh, wiping an entire lobby of people, you know, just marching and claiming victory every time, you're in the wrong place. Um, I'm, I'm not a garbage gamer, but I'm not far above that. Uh, there are certain games I'm good at, the rest of them, no. Nah. <laughs> and, you know, I don't care. I'm, I'm about having fun. If, if your thing is being a... a Speedrunner, if you can fly through games with reckless abandon and get crazy times, do it. 
if you're the type that you can go into a certain game, if you're like Bunny and you're a Fortnite streamer, you can just mow down people. Go with that. <laughs> but no, find your niche uh, and lean into it. So for me, it was suffering at games and laying chat screw with me. That's always been my thing. And I, you know, I take it good naturedly. And that's where, you know, the bags of mystery, which is actually Mrs. The Goose's idea. You can thank yep. her. Same with the spicy beans. In fact, most of my punishments come from Mrs. The Goose. Should probably look into that. Um, <laughs> but um, it's all about the fact that, you know, chat gets to interact. I, I'm really big on messing with chat and more importantly, chat messing with me. Uh, that's just become my thing. That's what I'm known for, for just eating stupid stuff and looking like an idiot. Uh, they come naturally. Find it does your both thing. really well. Um, it doesn't matter. You know, you don't have to match someone else. Just don't look for what works. Because if you look for what works, it works for that person. Find what works for you, and that's going to be you leaning on to you know, yourself. So for me, it's uh, just goofing off and eating stupid crap because everyone knows I can't eat most stuff. Uh, so those two just came naturally, and I've leaned into that and made that my identity, uh, kind of made that who I am as a streamer. So find, find yourself is basically what we boil down to, and then just be yourself. Absolutely. Yes. hundred percent agree with everything that was just said. Like, yeah. Cause like going, go, going back to like the whole speed running thing and everything. Cause like, obviously I just got done with, um, my outlast stream and everything. And mm -hmm. it was, it was so interesting going through that experience and people being like, you're doing this really well. You should try to be like a speed runner and stuff. And I'm like, Maybe for this game. I don't know how well I do with that on other games because there's a lot that goes into that. Like there's a lot that goes into speed running that I'm just like, I don't want to put that much time and effort to, into it. I'm just here to have a good time. <laughs> uh, Yeah, absolutely. Good boy country. <laughs> country, what did you do? Eddie redeemed a hydrate. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Sorry, I, I, I missed it. That's my I, bad. Ne next time we go into announcements, I'll go grab some more water because I don't have water right now. But yeah, I got water and Gatorade because I've been sick of the dog all day. Here's what I do want to say one of my, mm -hmm. my my favorite streams of yours were always the uh, the getting over it and then oh. really eat the <laughs> oh, black those are licorice. awful. <laughs> the combination of that. Oh, I know, hate getting over it and getting you know over how, it. it was, it was I wonderful. did like three or four streams in a row. And we're talking, you know, two or three hours each. Mm -hmm. where I started and ended in the exact same place every stream. I don't know how it happened, but I always wound up back in the exact same spot at the end of stream and be like, next time we're going to make progress, we'd make a bunch of progress, and i fall back down, and we'd end stream with me fighting my way back to that spot and just being like, this is my life now. I hate this. <laughs> I hate everything. Um, or me spending mm -hmm. like half an hour trying to go the wrong way despite the giant sign that told me I was going the wrong way. I ignored it and was trying to use the wrong way sign to go further in the wrong mm -hmm. direction. Um, yeah, it, it was just, it was madness. And if you ever get, a, you know, those of you that do shout outs where it pops up with a clip, if you ever see a clip of me playing that game, mute your headset immediately. Um, because all those clips are me just yelling at the top of my lungs as I plummet to my failure again. And as Afro can tell you, um there are some there's some loud ones because i didn't use a mm -hmm. limiter back then and um basically if they ever did like a true remake of home alone i could be the guy with the spider on his face fair um, <laughs> I, I could i could pull off that marvel pretty easily and i think i did in that in those streams a couple times um i was pretty dang close Oh, absolutely fair. Like I watched that. That was back when like Markiplier was starting to become a big thing and everything. And like, mm -hmm. I remember watching those videos and I, my friend was like, you want to try this for your stream? I'm like, no, I, oh, I, 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 I would literally punch through one of my it monitors. Like a good challenge for the community is to get recon to play getting over it. It's like a rite of pass. That could be an event. We could host it here. You know what, if we if we get to a certain threshold in like some kind of points thing that I do later and like, we'll 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 100 percent do a getting over it stream. That's and, and I'll do it on the shadow streams. Absolutely. I, I heard it here, guys. We have a challenge now. We do. I have I, I'm going to think of something to make this challenge fail. But yeah, I I'll put it out there. Why not? I'll say when we get to 750 <laughs> followers, that sounds reasonable. 
10k bits for SSS. You know what? Sure, we'll we'll do we'll do the 750 or the 10k bits. You choose whichever one of those we get to first. If we hit one within what I'll say the next month, we'll I'll I'll do it. And also for that clip that was posted, uh, warning to all headphone users. Uh, the worst part is I don't even know which one that is because there's quite a few that are just like that. <laughs> But I know where I fell because all of them are pretty much me falling through that gap over and over and leading back to the same spot. You're pretty okay here. Oh, that one wasn't bad? Okay. Uh, There are worse ones out there. So country was merciful and found you one that won't split your drums. All right. So um, Chaotic's contributing. There's 300. There is. There's 300. Yep. (laughs) <laughs> so obviously, um, like we've been talking about your journey through streaming and everything, and mm-hmm. a lot of things have come back to um, a certain very supportive part of your community. Um, mm-hmm. So t- tell us more about, you know, Mrs. Goose and everything that like, like what I, I, I guess, like how she supported you, like, you know, sh- kind, of, kind of just shout her out. Why not? Oh, absolutely. And you guys, if you've been a goose stream, you've probably heard me talk about her from time to time. Oh, we got hype training coming with all those bits. Look what you've done, Recon. Um, <laughs> uh, but anyways. I'll uh, suffer big, for bits. Why uh, not? Starting out, you know, as I said, when we started out, she set up a streamer room for me. It's actually the room next door to me. Uh, we eventually moved it over to here. This was going to be the guest bedroom. And then we realized, ah, eh, guests don't need that much space. They can have a small room. Um, that and I literally had no space. I was I would stream with my chair against the wall um, because I, it was as far back as I could get, and it was the only way I could get you know a decent amount of me on camera. Uh, this room is almost twice the size. We put up a big green screen, all that stuff. Uh, she helped with that. Um, but along the way, I mean, as I said, she's come up with most of my channel point redemptions. Um, the bags of mystery. All her. She came up with it one day and was like, well, if you had, you know, bags of food, just random things. It's like, yeah, we could work with that. She bought me a box of the spicy uh, Fiery Five Bean Boozled Challenge. Same ones Bunny was talking about. I was like, yeah, try this out. Um, The spicy watermelon candy that sometimes makes an appearance was actually my sister, but she was the one to bring it to me. Um, Mm -hmm. A lot of the things that I've gone through have been her coming with ideas. Early on, she even joined me on some streams. Uh, gaming she's not a big video gamer that's not her thing she they you know she has some games she likes like animal crossing she's addicted to <laughs> um that's not my game i can't get into it um <laughs> yeah eddie sometimes you wonder no she just enjoys seeing me suffer like the rest of you guys um but uh we did things like you know fall guys and stuff like that together played some different games uh but it kind of became clear after we kind of burned through some fun you know nintendo style games and stuff uh, that she'd rather be, you know, the off-screen presence. However, she has taken a little more of an active role lately. And I'll do a nice little plug here. The first Thursday of every month, she actually takes over my channel for me. And we do a Mrs. the Goose stream where she does her Palmer Clay crafts mm-hmm. um, for a couple of hours and talks about them. She's got a lot of cool stuff on there. She's even recently opened up her own uh, online store uh, to start selling them. And we've got three chaotic. sales already. Two of them are chaotic. Uh, but we have three sales. <laughs> Uh, but no, they, they're a lot of fun. And Call chaotic YouTube. out. Dang. Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, it's fine. The other person that bought something had the same comments as chaotic. Like this could be an addiction. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> nah, chaotic's a big help. But yeah, they, they're they're wonderful. They're little tiny ones. And then occasionally, I'll you know I'll join in on stream and try to follow along with Mrs. the Goose as she's making stuff. <laughs> Mine don't come out as nice. Um, I've made Can some confirm. good stuff, but uh, Gal remembers my cereal. Um, didn't work out too well. It looked like little poops. Um, <laughs> I remember the taco that one. I made afterwards looked like little poops. Just everything I made that day was very crappy. Um, but no, she's very talented. Uh, she's got her own little uh, store on Go Imagine that's starting to take off. It's a great platform. Better than Etsy. I'm calling you out right now. Etsy, screw you. Uh, oh, but, yeah, no, uh, Etsy. Uh, mm. Etsy served its purpose. It's dying. Uh, let's all move on. Uh, let's go to Go Imagine. Uh, the, the only limitation is she can only do U.S. sales. Uh, that saves on the shipping costs and everything, but uh, no, it, it was it was a lot of fun getting her more involved uh, doing those streams. And obviously, she you know she sometimes will let the dogs in on me, so you guys get you know a pupper attack and things like that. Uh, but she she really is the unsung hero of the stream. Actually, sometimes sung hero because 
I've had people in <laughs> chat talking about Mrs. The Goose, and I'm just the one they have to endure to get the occasional Mrs. The Goose and Pepper content. Oh, look at that prime sub from Porsche. Thank you so much, and Porsche. And level one hype train. But yeah, basically, she's the she's the real motivation behind a lot of things. Uh, she's really helped me out along the way, and I can honestly say my channel would not be uh, as great as it is without her help. Awesome. Yeah, no, and I can definitely 100% confirm, like, so, some of my favorite streams to just, like, pop in on, like, Thursdays and stuff when she takes over. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it's so fun just watching, and she's very, you can tell, like, she very much so absolutely loves what she does because it's it's great to just like watch her talk about things while she's messing with all that and everything and when goose joins in and does an absolutely horrible job while she's trying to help him it's 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 beautiful two good creations but trying to copy hers i'm no (laughs) good how how many it never ends well but we just had 10 gift subs thanks to cat and chaotic thank you so much for all of those (laughs) legends here plus Gift subs are on a discount for like all of a week. Yeah. <laughs> Which I find hilarious that they wait until the very end of September to be like, we're going to discount them. It's like, where where has this been the entire month? How I know. is September they, if you don't discount They them? dropped the yeah. ball on September so yeah, hard. <laughs> a little bit. But hey, you know what? We'll take advantage of that last week. Can you do the gritty, Goose? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't either. I think we might all Probably be too cool not. Yeah, I've got no idea what that would require. I would Im- uh, I would imagine not. Goose is not the most coordinated person. I very much am not. I mean, I, I can do a mean Beat Saber stream. That's about it. That's as coordinated as I get. And that only lasts until the end of stream. And I'm just like stumbling around and, you know, falling down a flight of stairs. <laughs> yeah, man. When, when, when did that happen? That was last Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> that was a fun ride. I set a new, speaking of speed running. I did a nice speed run on those stairs. That's the fastest I've ever gotten down a flight of stairs. Um, I would say not I'm at not all, gal, because it wasn't bids. I said 10K bits. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll find a conversion rate. <sighs> don't do this to me. <laughs> 250 would be the conversion rate. 250 bits per sub. I can live with that. 250 bit. Oh gosh, I don't I don't like that. I don't like Look that at all. Guys, don't don't you make set a play, challenge. Don't make me play this game, please. <laughs> also, Goose, I looked up the gritty. No, you can't do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Give me a hint as to what it is. Oh, it, it's a dance, but it's Oh, well, then, no, I can't. You have to I have fast dance. forward for this one and I I know I can't do it. Look, my, my dance doesn't go farther than, like, you know, maybe a cabbage patch. Guys, please uh, stop. <laughs> That's about it. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. We're, we're almost done with level four already, guys. Uh, but we'll I think they stopped the limits count. on hype trains, too. Yeah, I, 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 saw I know I could do it. I don't want to is the problem. I'm also excited. They added a shout-out command. It's not live yet. Mm-hmm. But we're, when you shout somebody out now with the official Twitch command, there will actually be a button pop up on screen. Uh, where people can follow the person you're shouting out from your chat. Um, to me, that looks pretty awesome. I was hoping it'd be cool. live sooner, but eh. Uh, I think you're yeah, also going to put it up in your uh, your dashboard, too. So it'll, it'll say nice. how many people were shouted out to you. Hells cool. yeah. I like it. I, I like some of the changes. I don't like all the changes they're making, but I like some of them. <sighs> uh, as much as people want to talk about, you know, everything that Twitch is and isn't doing. I feel like they've made some good decisions. It's just everyone wants to focus yeah. on their bad decisions or in a lot of cases, the decisions that they think are bad that doesn't even affect them. Uh, yeah, like, right. I'm like <laughs> Most of us are not going to get affected by the revenue split for, you know, the biggest partners making, you know, six digits. Uh, that's not going to impact me. Um, but being able to do that special shout out, that does impact me. I like it. Absolutely. Yeah. Like the, the smaller things that they're doing, are definitely going to like affect obviously the smaller streamers a lot more than it will the big ones. But yeah, like I I don't really think unless you do a hundred percent make this like your full time career, you're ever gonna have to worry about that hundred K. It's nah. it's not gonna happen. <laughs> no, nah, I mean I I'll enjoy my couple payouts here and there, but um I'm not making that kind of money. I ain't making that kind of bank. Chaotic. Why? Hundred thousand dollars a year playing video games. They can they can hate take that extra twenty percent. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like, 
Jeez. That's, that's, that's worth not going to the office. <laughs> yeah, you can take that. Come here. We might have a doggo visit. there. She'll jump up. Come here. Nice. Come here. Oh, hi. Oh, I got Mina. We got Mina. She is, as some of you may see that little picture of a pupper. Uh, that is little Mina when she was very young. Um, one of the first pictures we got of her. Um, mm-hmm. But that was like, you know, two and a half, three years ago. So she's a little bigger. Just a, a little, bit. Tiny, yeah. tiny bit. Yeah, but she, she's a sweet dog. All she wants is the attention. Um, unlike Maverick, who just wants to chew on me. His favorite <laughs> game is to come in while I'm in the office working or gaming or whatever. And he will come up and literally just grab my entire arm in his mouth and try to pull me out of my chair. <laughs> like I'll, I'll be turning around going, what's going on? Uh, oh, yeah, it's, it's tug of war time. Absolutely. And I'm the toy, but he never really breaks skin or anything. He's he's relatively gentle. It didn't used to be. I've got a few shirts that have um, fallen by the wayside thanks to him, but he's gotten better. He's been really sweet lately. I'm already regretting this decision. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to it greatly. Oh, I'm I'm sure you are, especially since you've already suffered through it. <laughs> no, absolutely. I love seeing other people suffer. Uh, but I'll cheat and I'll circumvent your questions and actually throw a question to myself. Yeah, absolutely. Um, because it's funnier that way. Uh, because oh, obviously, 100%. You know, just, uh, um, I mentioned earlier about the SSS. Obviously, you guys know I'm a huge supporter. Um, have been yeah, what, in love what, with the community. What uh, do you do in SSS? In oh, I do stuff. I mainly just <laughs> anger the content team. That's my main job. <laughs> Um, and I'm sure the content team can verify that. I'm sure Eddie will agree. Um, uh, but anyways, <laughs> I do things funny. <laughs> wow. The instant I, I two, attacked. just he does nothing. Just, oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm being targeted here. Uh, so when I started out, as I mentioned, you know, I was just, you know, I had just started streaming. I, I had started to hear about these Discord communities. I actually joined one that I'm still a part of. But I'm not super active there. Uh, Cause I oh and Toe. Thank you legend. for the raid, Toe. Oh, Thank you so much. My, you're here for my origin story, Toe. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're getting uh, but, we're getting his Batman you know, story now. Joined the community or joined another community. Didn't get a lot of traction there because it was a really really big community where uh, you know it was one of those that had so many thousands of people that it was impossible to get noticed. Uh, the moment mm-hmm. you posted something, it got buried. Uh, and it was just like you know if you weren't already an established member, you didn't really get noticed. Uh, they did their best, and it worked for some people. It just never worked for me. Uh, but through that, I ended up, uh, you know, I would pop into random streams and try to support people, uh, trying to figure things out early, ask them questions about, you know, streamer advice, things like that. Uh, after I got to know them, you know, then pop and be like, I'm a new streamer. Tell me what to do, because that's basically self-promo at that point. Um, you know, I, I like to give them some support first. Um, but right. you know, I got to know one in particular, some of the old timers here. Uh, may remember uh, Deca 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 or Deca Cubed at one point, um, the infamous Red Panda. Uh, he was in that community as well. And when I was talking to him, he actually mentioned uh, the Shadow Stream supporters. Back then, we were still the Ninja Monkey supporters, um, old school. Um, but um, he sent me an invite because I was like, that sounds fantastic. You know, how did I get in there? And he sent me the invite. I got involved, um, got super involved in raid trains early on to the point where we actually had a competition one month for who could do the most support. Mm -hmm. And um, I not only came in first, I beat out the server owner of that time. Like I blew him out of the water and, you know, he was very active at the time. Uh, Just absolutely dominated that competition. I got really involved to the point that the raid, the people leading the raid trains, like heavenly might've been one Uh, positive D gamer, I think was one of the ones as well uh, that, uh, saw me in so many raid trains and we, you know, I'd be very active chatting with the captains and with everybody else and in people's chats. And so they recommend it's like, well, you know, you basically know everything about raid trains. In fact, I would sometimes step in when one of the raid train captains, was like I'd step away for a second. I'd be like, I got you. I can do some of the announcements. I already know them by heart or I'd give instructions when the raid train captain was running late because again, I had listened to it so much. And I was like, you know, I'll cover mm-hmm. for you. It's fine. We'll make it work. Um, but they were like, why don't you try leading a raid train? And I was like, you know, I pretty much live on this train. I might as well try driving it. Um, and so they lured me into the elite so you can blame them. Again, I, I can't say for certain it was heavenly. I think it was. Uh, not to throw you under the bus heavenly, but I think you made the mistake of getting me involved more. 
And I'm pretty sure Positive D Gamer was the other one. They were and both we've all so suffered since. Yes, exactly. They had no idea what they were <laughs> unleashing. Uh, but I got involved with that and then was really active as the raid captain for a while, uh, for months really. That was my first team. And then I remember we had some we had some issues with events, kind of you know hit a snag where uh, the person that was leading events had a lot of in real life stuff popping up that was really conflicting and making it so that the events were kind of sputtering and we were trying to get the Twitch channel uh, to affiliate. And I was like, you know what? We're doing this. I took a week off of my own channel and was like, I'm just going to stream nice. on the SSS channel. We're making this happen. I will get us to affiliate one way or another, and then we can move on. Um, yeah. Oh, Carla. I think Carla was involved in luring me as well. And yeah, we'll blame Gal too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Gal, it's uh, but, just, it's just you know, your fault. <laughs> uh, she threw herself under the bus there, but they, you know, uh, decided it's like, Hey, I will help get events up and running. Let's make this happen. Uh, all because I had done one event and was like, I'll help out. I'll do an event. I can't remember what event it was. Uh, but they let me run one. And the next thing I know, they're like, Hey, since you're interested in events, want to run it? And it's like, <laughs> okay. And that's how I became council was literally just, um, I saw a need at the time and decided mm -hmm. yeah, I can fill that until we, you know, get things up and running again. And next thing I know, my name is yellow in the server and I've got access to all the hush hush secret channels. And yeah, here I am. What? Uh, There's no hush hush secret channels. <laughs> I remember joining and seeing how many channels I had no idea existed. There's a lot that goes on in the background for those of you in the SSS. Uh, there's a lot, there's more hidden channels than unhidden channels as mm -hmm. a member. And the reason for that being is because our elite teams do a ton of work Kaz. Uh, in the background. There is all kinds. Yeah, don't pay no attention to them. Kaz, you have access to more hidden channels than I do. <laughs> Come Kaz on. Kaz probably has their own channels at this point. Honestly. Um, but to the point that it's like, you know, they, they do a ton of stuff in the background. Uh, Fair, all the elite bunny. teams are always working hard uh, to get stuff done and keep this community as awesome as it is. How, yeah, uh, Eddie, you can never keep me out. I'm council. I'm everywhere. But yeah, and then Bunny joined the council and made it a dangerous place for me. There's nowhere safe from her. And that was my that was my safe space to go smack talk Bunny. Now I have to do it to her face. <laughs> What's a goose to do? <laughs> yeah, now you're not safe anywhere from Bunny. But yes, and if anyone's wondering, the content team and I have had some issues. Nothing serious, basically like me and Bunny issues uh, where we don't really hate each other. It's just, uh, well, at least I don't hate them. How they it's feel just, about me, maybe. You, uh, you don't uh, but always have, get the information to them yeah, in I the have best a bad of habit times. Of being scatterbrained and then it's like, oh, yeah, by the way, there's an event tomorrow. Can y'all do a graphic for that? Maybe some emotes. And they're just sitting there like, wait, what? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I need this in like five hours at the latest. Uh, bye. And I've tried to be better about that. It doesn't always work. That uh, is, so it, it's kind of a long-standing tradition of uh, me causing trouble for content, and mm -hmm. them knowing that I'm causing trouble. If they see the goose is typing, I'm pretty sure they're like, "Ah, crap! Now what?" <laughs> <laughs> it's it's whole own thing of just like he's he's going to talk to us. Oh gosh, run! Yeah, okay, okay, I went to the whole trouble making a great calendar for us to use, and I always forget it exists. And then I'll tell other people to use fair, it and I'll forget to check fair, it. Fair, chaotic. Because I'm, I'm just, again, I'm very scatterbrained. I'm very easily distracted. And between, you know, uh, real life, work, volunteering, streaming, all that stuff, um, I'm just all over the place. My mind is never in the same place for very long. Um, it's always on to the next tar topic. And, well, it doesn't always stay as long as it should. <laughs> Yeah, understandable though, because like, no, complete. Yeah, like it, it's just kind of something that happens, you know, every once in a while. Like, obviously, yes, you probably should work on it, Goose. <laughs> there are but, lots of things I should work on. Yeah, <laughs> it's it there for all of us. But yeah, uh, country. Any other questions you have, good sir? I have nothing. No. All right, uh, chat. Any other questions for the goose before last call? We uh, we try to find someone else to interview. I promise I'll answer him. But chaotic for event <laughs> council. <Eddie>. What? <laughs> hey, chaotic wants it. I I'm glad to bring her up, and you guys can let her be the one to, you know, surprise you when I give her a late event notice. She can be the bearer of bad news from now on. Oh boy, it wouldn't change anything. <laughs> nope, I would still cause trouble just through someone else. 
<laughs> by me, I already said I'm, I can't answer that yet. Um, all I can say is it's something very common for those of you that have been guessing, like, you know, pickled sardines or stuff like that. It's something that probably everyone is familiar with and almost everyone has tried at some point in their life. It's a very common food. Again, oh, no. I will either confirm nor deny what it is, even if someone guesses it. Um, he I hates deny cookies, guys. No, it's mushrooms, cookies. guaranteed. It's, no, actually, I'm not a big fan of mushrooms, though. Uh, but anyways, uh, that's all I'll say. The first thing I streamed, Cars of All, um, I kind of alluded to it earlier, uh, snuck in there, but it was Crash Bandicoot 4 did a full playthrough of It's About Time, which I find a hilarious name because it it's about time as in it's a sequel that you yeah, have been so long since likes the last one. So it's much. like, it's about time. And then it was, it's about time because the whole game was about time and time travel. So it was a punny name on top of everything. It was great gameplay too. Such Gosh dang it, goose. <laughs> I do like junk food. Did you, so I do, I do have a question going off of that. Did you 100% uh -oh. the game or was it just... I did not 100% it. I did make a very big dent. 100% in Crash Bandicoot, any of them, um, is a challenge. It is Three a challenge. Is doable. I, I had the 105 or 110 or what the, whatever the actual maximum is, including all the hidden crap in number three. Um, but um, number four, no way. There's no way in heck. I've seen some people 100%. It's not happening. And Bunny, I almost wore the shirt. Um <laughs> I'm guessing it's a bunny uh, I shirt. Very close. I have a bunny shirt. Um, I might go grab it during the next interview so I can show you guys. It's a fantastic shirt. Heck um, yeah. But uh, very much appreciate getting a hold of that. Uh, but I came close and then was like, nah, I'm too lazy to change. Fair. Slight shout out to Turk, but I'm very much so looking forward to uh, getting his shirt because I donated. I don't even remember how many bits. I think it was twenty five hundred uh and so he was like yeah just send me like your address and stuff and i'll send you a turk shirt and i'm like awesome looking I've forward to come, this <laughs> i've come very close and you know i won't take too much more time because we do want to save some time for somebody else absolutely uh, i have come very close and been considering um i have a p.o box uh, that i mainly set up to get that shirt from bunny because i need somewhere for it to be sent and you know don't like give out um my personal address to anybody even though i mostly trust bunny uh, which may be my downfall someday. <laughs> and just for, you know, a little addendum there because I'm distracted already. Uh, but for everyone that's thinking that, you know, Bunny and Goose are always at each other's throats, I would say we're actually friends. We get along well. It's just we also like murdering each other in games. And so uh, it's a friendly rivals, rivalry. Friendly rivals. Exactly. Um, you know, I don't actually dislike Bunny. I think she's a great streamer. Um, she's one of my favorites to watch. I'm going to throw that out there. There's a reason I have a shirt, um, because you know, I'm very active in Bunny's <laughs> streams because I like watching her suffer. Um, yeah, see, <laughs> that's fair, Bunny, but you know, I'll take it. Um, because then you'll never see the material coming because you think I'm naive. Um, but I know I was on another topic not? before I decided to, you know, smack talk Bunny. Um, I don't even remember what I was talking about now. That's how distracted I got. <laughs> See the dangers here, guys. If anybody remembers what the heck I was saying, let me know. Oh, P.O. Box. I just yeah. saw Eddie discussing mm -hmm. it. Um, but yeah, it's a P.O. Box. Uh, but I've considered releasing that information uh, to some of my streamer friends and just be like, you know, send me stuff for my bags. I know I'll regret it if I do that, though. Plus, I'm not sure how much food is going to do well in the mail. Um <laughs> I, I can just see it getting here already rotten. It's like, I'm not eating that. Fair, no, Bunny, definitely fair. not. That definitely wasn't the truth. Um, lies and slander. <laughs> Food does not mail I, well. I'll consider it. Food uh, never mails well. Next few I ordered gummy bears. I don't know if you can see this, Goose. Oh, no. These are gummy bears. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like some kind of like soy it, it sauce. All, it all, it all metal, melted together. Yeah, it don't, looks don't like soy. Were those the oh. hot gummies? Yeah, they're, they're the Carolina Reaper gummy bears. Now you just oh. have one giant glob. Just like <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna, it so uh, it holds its form and yep. just take out the giant chunks. Oh. It's beautiful. <laughs> it is back in gummy form now, but that's how nice. it came in the mail. Play-Doh is edible. Sound. Fair. <laughs> Probably tastier than some of the things I've eaten. <laughs> how much, how much for country to take, take a bite of that? Uh, country? <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see. If it's... It's easy. No, it's not easy to open, so I'm going to have to pass this time. 
Otherwise, I would just do right, it. Well, you're going to have to go check out country streams and convince them to eat it there. Um, clearly, that's all you can do. If he does. Oh, absolutely. If he would, if he was willing, country would be full screened right now. 100%. Excuse me. Maybe next week. <laughs> I'll, Fair. I'll open the little pieces eventually. That's the plan. Just cut them into squares now. But yeah, don't order gummy bears through the mail. Yeah, absolutely fair. Yeah, go go check out his streams and pester him about it. See, I can do these <laughs> shout outs too. <laughs> We've given him too much power. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how much power you've given me. <laughs> but yes, um, so yeah, that was uh, The Goose 2012. Um, thank you so much for agreeing to be, you know, putting your face out here and, you know, answering questions and everything. Because, yeah. I'm so sorry you had to see this, guys. <laughs> Oh, the smile. Oh, it does. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's bad. Enjoy your nightmares. But yeah, um, so we do still have one slot for anyone who would like to be interviewed. Um, there is a wonderful little redeem for it. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Only 500 points. Or just ask. Yeah, or you could just ask. Like yeah, we just honestly, we <laughs> yeah. we we would love to get to know more people within the community. Um, yeah, I'm seeing some fellow council members. We already had two council members. We keep the theme going, or you know, you don't have to be a lead or a council member or anything like that. Even if you're just, you know, you could be a newer member. Just you yeah. want to jump in there and chat. Come on, he is so there. Wanna, that is true. Is Country backup. is here. Yes, so you just want to self promo. Come on in. <laughs> All right, well, we have two votes for country. So unless I see someone actually like... I didn't prepare for that, though. <laughs> you gave Bunny a full list of questions. Hey, You think I, I don't have a full list of questions for you, country? Yeah, but, yeah, but you gave it to her in advance. advance. <laughs> all right, we've had a vote to you know keep it counsel. Keep, all right, uh, he was being nice. Okay, well... Country is going to take center screen. Ah, oh, the the com- combination thing again. That was I don't like it. Well, no. <laughs> seeing my face. But yeah, so country, what what do you do in the Shadow Stream supporters? I've been you know introducing everyone else. I'll let you introduce yourself. All right. So, oh god, I wasn't ready. Yeah, I'm I'm country. Um, so I've been in SSS since since oh god 2001 January. It's so almost two years now um the second week i got there i was forced into doing the raids leading those it was fun 10 out of 10 would do it again and then just kept going back and eventually came on the council now i do the the shout out squad and we we really do have the easiest easiest job so best team probably all we have to do is occasionally shout someone out bring some hype to other people and and call it call it a day 2021 sorry yeah since 2000 i was gonna say so, something but i wanted to let you finish uh, uh, i was reading the calendar i don't know why but i am 29 years old toe i've been alive since longer than 2001 I, I <laughs> oh yeah and shadow developers we, we work on the bot it's it's fun i don't work on the bot that's that's above my pay grade but we have two two really good developers that are making life easier for everybody so that's what i do shout out to both of our developers because as someone who has gone through uh computer science and i know exactly what developing entails y'all are mvps like hands down (laughs) but yeah so that this is obviously again the country um so country what what exactly do you stream what what what's your you know go-to stuff I stream a little bit of everything. So twice a week we do story games. Um, so right now we're doing Final Fantasy. It's a lot of fun. I haven't played a Final Fantasy game before, but I was forced by by people in the chat. <laughs> mostly mostly Cat, if Cat's still mm-hmm. there. Um, so we're doing some Final Fantasy Nine. That's always fun. Nice. Uh, otherwise we do a little variety on Thursdays. So we're doing Cuphead right now. Uh, we've done Valorant, Dead by Daylight. A little bit of everything. And then Saturday's my, probably my favorite night. We do Horror Night. What what so, what what is this uh this week's horror night? We're starting Outlast. Ooh. We're starting Outlast. So. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't looking forward to watching you suffer as I have. I was told there's a lot of jump scares and I don't do jump scares well. <laughs> so, well, I'm a little worried. If you just continue running, it it, it eventually you you'll, you'll be fine. I believe in you. I believe in you, country. 
I'm I'm scared. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I love scary mo- or games, but there have been some that have that have almost made me jump out of my chair. Fair, absolutely fair. But yeah, so we're going to continue on. So obviously, again, like I'll have some that are specifically for you, some that are specifically, you know, part of my list. Um, But yeah, we'll start off for you. Um, What's the best and worst parts of your journey as a streamer? Like what's been the the best high for you and the worst low? Yeah, so I mean, the best is I'm going to keep the the train moving on this one with with the people that i've met um when i first started streaming it was mostly just to press the go live button and and pray people showed up obviously that's not how it works we all know that now but yeah so definitely the people and then the worst probably burnout honestly Mm because i think i think we've all probably went through that too and i mean there's just times where i'm like you know what i I don't want to be on twitch this week i'll take a week off or at least step back a little bit and uh and just chill but i think that's that's what happened like twice in two years so really not that bad but yeah that's what that's what i would say nice definitely take take time to yourself and focus on you instead of worrying about twitch you know 24 7 would 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 that be a tip you would uh give a new streamer is to take care of yourself absolutely 100 percent. i think people you know that they get into it right away and we, we've probably seen it all the time where mm-hmm. you get into it you really enjoy it. You want to support everybody. And it's just not, it's not sustainable. Absolutely so, fair. As long bunny. as you're having fun doing it, support as many as you can. But as soon as it starts feeling like a chore, you know, you have, you have to worry about yourself first. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's not always easy to be in that mindset, but like you have to remember that like your mental health and your well being is going to be more important than all of this. Like, Especially like with our community and everything, you can come back to this. We'll still be here to support you later, but like, make sure you're taken care of first, because that's definitely like something I've been learning in these past like couple months. And it is tough to do. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. Because you want to be everywhere, you want to help all your friends out, but sometimes you just need to take a step back. Absolutely. So, so country, like, so obviously, you know. Goose is known for being like, you know, all like, you know, chatty with his people, like eating bad stuff. Bunny is known for being chaotic, crazy and, you know, really good at Fortnite. What 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 is country known for? Like what what what's what's your bag of wonders? It has to be the physical pain. We, we do hot. <laughs> like, I'm looking at my desk right now. <laughs> but let's just let's go around the room. So I have. I have one Carolina Reaper uh, cheese ball left. Over over in this corner, we have some some caramels, Carolina Reaper Reaper caramels. <laughs> oh, jeez! Right next to me, these these aren't actually that bad. Uh, they're just habanero uh, jelly beans. They're actually, pretty solid, like five out of five. Oh like, heck yeah! Know? Except there's a black licorice. I thought it was grape, and I ate it, and I almost cried. Um, we, I we hate do black have the, the gummy bears, so we have that. Which obviously not real gummy bear, but and and then I also have Carolina Reaper popcorn. <laughs> oh no! Oh I haven't no! Tried, that, I haven't tried that yet. That doesn't sound fun. <laughs> that, that was gifted to me. Um, so we'll see. Probably probably Saturday, I'll mm-hmm. make up a batch and we'll we'll figure a way to eat that. Fair. Yeah, so. So like obviously, so your 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 brand is um you know heat and pain through heat and everything, which I completely understand because like again, I also have the Carolina Reaper balls, um but I I'm gonna bring up a wonderful memory for you because you've talked about this before, um but yeah I have I have these two things these wonderful uh one chip challenges <laughs> I have two of them what well, what was your experience with the one chip challenge country how how'd that okay. go for you. So the first five minutes, because you know you're supposed to go with as long as you can without water. So I, I ate it, and I'm like, "This is hot, right? This mm-hmm. is burning." So I made it about five minutes, and I'm like, "I need water." So the only thing that I had, well, I need something to drink. The only thing I had next to me was ice water. It made it so much worse. Oh no! For the next yeah. twenty minutes, it was like someone was stabbing me in the tongue on repeat. Yes, bunny, you would want water. milk. <laughs> But I didn't have milk. All I had was a little bit of water, and it was ice water. I cried. That definitely does sound very painful. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so if you're gonna do water, do warm water. It's not nearly as bad. But Eddie. yeah, it, it felt like someone like tied me down and just stabbed me in the tongue for twenty minutes. Absolutely fair and understandable. So, um, so yeah, so like, so we figured out like your your brand of streaming and everything. But what what brought about your streaming journey and everything? Like, was there a certain streamer that you, or was it just like? I'll give this a try and you just kind of started like what, what brought country into the world was besides your parents. <laughs> uh, that, was, that was, that was closer to 2001. <laughs> that was, that was a little bit before that even as a 1991 story, uh, but we probably should leave that out of here. Um, but no, I had a couple of friends who did streaming before me. Uh, they're neither, neither of them are still streaming now. Uh, married girlfriend house stuff like that, kids on the way. So they're, you know, progressing, and I'm just doing the same thing. Um, but no, I, I followed them into the streaming world. I was like, you know what? If they're doing it, I'm, I'm going to join them. Let's hang out. It's fun. It looks fun. And uh, I just kept going. But yeah, the one thing that I definitely screwed up on was was underestimating the, the amount of work that goes into it. And you can't just press the go live button and have 50 people show up. Way to make you feel old, chaotic. <laughs> I mean, I was born in '93, so like I, I'm only two years behind country here. It was I was late '92, so. Oh, late '90. Okay, I thought you said '91. Oh well, that's when you know the parents were partying. Ah, uh, that, that's how the story started. Okay, because I was born in '93, so I'm only a year behind you. That's good to know. My birthday's coming up. <laughs> Turning thirty soon. Nice. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Gal, you <y'all> shut up. <laughs> we still love you, Gal. We still love you. I promise. Um, but yeah. So, uh, so yeah, we've we've discussed your what led you to streaming and everything. Um, we've discussed, but yeah. So, um, so you do definitely play a wide variety of games. Um, and everything and obviously like right now you're very big into Cuphead you're starting your Outlast and everything is there a certain game that you 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 always seem to come back to like any any particular one that like is like one of your all-time favorites League of Legends <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh oh boy we're going into toxic territory <laughs> yeah it's it's rough it's a it's a scary community it's it's a, it's a scary place to be but that that's literally the only PC game I played since it was like 2012 through 2020, pretty close. That was that was really it, really it. So it would always be League. It's it's always gonna have a special place in my heart. I I can't argue with it because I'm also an avid League player. So yeah, no, it it it's an absolutely toxic community, and I don't usually recommend anyone who's like, oh yeah, I kind of want to try this out. No, you don't. <laughs> Save yourself. <laughs> But Run away. <laughs> for those of us who are already sucked in, uh, we're kind of stuck. We don't get a choice. Thousands of hours are already gone. There's, there's no point in, in leaving now. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware, buddy. I'm I'm acutely aware. <laughs> um, but yeah, OK, so League of Legends. So in that retrospect, then, has there ever been a game that you've played and you've been like that? I I don't enjoy this game at all. Like I'd never want to come back to this. Yeah. League of legends. <laughs> <laughs> Literally every time I play it. And then we I, do. I was expecting that answer, but I wanted to ask just in case. Um, so, okay. So we definitely, Oh, 6250 is what we're at. Got you. Oh, absolutely. It's a love hate relationship completely. Um, so we we you have a night dedicated specifically to horror. Um so what has been in like let's say what the past two or three three or four games that you've played what's been the m- most horrifying game you've played? Oh, that that that's a good list too because the last four would be what Mortuary Assistant, Madison, we did Blair Witch. What was the other one? What was the one we did right before that? I can't remember. So probably not the one right before that if I can't remember what it is. Gosh dang but, it, Goose. 
You're getting pretty close. You're going to be playing this game. I very much so am probably going to be playing this game. I'm not looking forward to it. I would say that overall, um, Mortuary Assistant was scarier, but Madison had the jump scares. Like There were times where I like literally almost jumped out of my chair mm-hmm. in panic. Nice. So would you recommend Madison to people or would you be like, you know, forewarning with the jump stairs and everything? What's a fun game. I, I would recommend it. Empress if you're good at puzzle games. <laughs> Empress Y. <laughs> See, puzzle games are where I struggle, so. Fair. Madison was tough. I, I did have a guide up. So for those of you who don't watch me often, every story game that I play. I have a guide up and it's just on my other <laughs> monitor. It is ready to go. I will never struggle. Fair though. Like, yeah, Lord, Lord knows there's been times, especially when my friend and I were going through, uh, we were here like the final one or whatever it was. I can't even remember, but like, it was, Oh my gosh. Like there were times I'm just like, I can't understand what we're supposed to do here. And I wanted to look up a guide so bad, but like at the same time, there's that part of me that's just like, no, we can't do it. We have to beat it without like cheating. Yeah, I, I did look it up in that game. <laughs> I don't know if it was that exp- uh, specific one. I think we did. We were here together, and I was like, no, this is this is too much. And then we were already like halfway through it, so the guide didn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, I had to right. Like backtrack and try to start over. <laughs> All right, so here's where I am now. I need to get back up to here. Here's like somewhere where I know what I, it's talking about. Let's get to where we are now. <laughs> uh, any questions from the chat? We we've got country here. Like ask away. Like you know, I I know I have some questions and I'm trying to think of more. But like, if you guys have questions like about anything, like feel free to ask. <laughs> All right, we've got two. We've got two. So. Yeah, so my name was just a random generated name. I uh, when I was playing Xbox, I got the COD Four game, so that's when I started gaming. Uh, mm-hmm. That's when my competitive gaming really started. I remember the I COD Four era. Pretty good, I was pretty good at the game. Almost made playoffs and game battles a couple of times. Kind of, pretty much Ooh. pro. Hell's but, yeah! Uh, I'm not a creative person. You know, I'm a pretty, pretty boring person. So I let Microsoft pick my name. It had country in it, and we just stuck with it ever since. All right. Do you have pets? I have, I have one dog. Her name's Wednesday. I'm I'm surprised she's not barking. She's a black lab. I love black labs. <laughs> she's she's mostly good. She's mostly great. Can you ask any question? Um, scares me. <laughs> that also scares me, Blade. Let's keep it at least somewhat PG friendly. But yes. <laughs> While Blade is asking that question, um, what what is this thing Goose keeps talking about? What is this Ert Nuak or whatever? Country backwards. That was my first League of Legends name. <laughs> um, and basically, you, you want to see how creative I am. Country was taken in League of Legends, obviously. Common name um, or common word. And I uh, just flipped it backwards. It was like, we call it, we're calling it there. What was what the my, first uh, ever game you played on stream? Oh, League of Legends. It was, it, I, it was <laughs> we that should and, be uh, surprised. NBA, okay. Those are the games I played when I first started. I quickly ran away from it, but was that the? I'm guessing the 2020 since late 2020, early 2021. Yeah. Well, was it the MBK 2020 oh, that you started been, off? It would have been 21, I think. Okay, 21 was when. Okay. The people demand Wednesday cameo. Well, <laughs> she's, she's doing whatever. I don't even know where she's at. <laughs> so I, I don't know if we uh, can release five, that information. Seven, two, four, oh, five, okay. one, two, five, four. That's a better answer than I was going to give. I was going to do like eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Oh, that's enough characters. It is not, but they don't need to know that. <laughs> So, I mean, I'm sure that's probably someone's social security number, so. You just, you <laughs> probably. You want. Yeah, so who or what brought you to the Shadow Stream supporters? Um, how did I find it? This is two years ago. How am I supposed to remember? I honestly <laughs> think I just found it on the, on the internets. Mm-hmm. Just, 
there was a link out there. I'm like, I'm going to click this link. And then it, you know, it wasn't phishing. So that was good. Nice. All right. So get it, getting a little bit more into you and everything. Um, it's like, I'm sure, I'm sure, uh, obviously I've asked this of the other, so I'd, I'd feel bad not asking you it as well. Um, but like, you know, we, we had the one tip for new streamers and everything. Um, but like you, you also have some mods and everything. Um, and I, I don't remember if I fully asked this of goose, I kind of just went with Mrs. Goose cause she's his biggest supporter goose. No one cares about you go away. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so, uh, what, what is your story with like your mods and everything? And you know, what, what kind of drew you into like choosing them or like the friendship or anything, everything that happened? Like ha- explain that to us. Yeah. Most of them just showed up one day and then never left. So I was like, you know what? I guess we'll just make you guys mods. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, that's really what it started as they just kept coming back. Um, they, you know, they joined Joined the Discord. We hung out. We we played games together after, and then they're like, "Hey, if you want me to be a mod, I'll be a mod." I'm like, sure, that sounds that sounds fun. I don't have any cool stories with them. It's just fair. I, I mean, be a mod. <laughs> you can be a mod. Fair, absolutely fair. Yes, I'm aware we're only one k or four sub goal subs away. Please, please don't. <laughs> I just, I did not think we were going to hit 2K in like, or 10K in one stream. Nothing, really guys. Nothing, guys. Nothing whatsoever. No, no. <laughs> don't, don't look at what Bunny and Empress put into the thing. It's, it's all lies and slander. <laughs> uh, so. Go, going into so like obviously with the spice and everything like that's kind of become your gimmick and everything is like you know i eat things that hurt me on stream what what led to that was it like just something like because you like spice because like i know for me that's what led me to doing it is because i've always been a huge fan of spice and everything so like was it the same for you or was it something else no so i've never been a, a spicy food person before um but no, I was watching someone else, um, and they did it, and I'm like, and he was making a big deal about it. It was Turk. He was he was like he was out there crying, and I was like, you know what? It's not that bad. So I bought it, and I was wrong. So it it was as bad as it looked. But hey, that, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> yeah, I thought I just want to make sure you saw. Make sure you know what's happening. Y'all are at least going to have to wait until I get paid because I do not have money to get getting over it right now. But yeah, (laughs) sometime in the near future, I will do getting over it on a SSS stream for you. Absolutely wonderful people who I love so much. Uh, but no, I do actually love this community. It's been, it's been a lot of fun being a part of everything and, you know, getting to know everyone, like obviously country and goose and everything like I have been, but yeah, sorry. You, you, you were going into like how, like, <laughs> and then we hit the goal. What was oh, no, uh, I watched Turk and oh I, yeah, he was being a chicken or I thought he was just, you know, overselling it like this it's not that bad so i bought a bag and uh yeah i wish i didn't yeah (laughs) that honestly i'm not even gonna lie that's why i bought my bag was the exact same reason i'm like oh they can't be that bad i've had some i've had an actual carolina reaper i've had a ghost pepper like it hurts but it's i don't know what it is about just in being in the powder form but it's so much worse than just eating an actual reaper it is so much worse. <laughs> and then it just it just expanded on that. Like we started, you know, dipping it in water, like in a glass, drinking it that way. Which makes it even worse. Like that's that's the worst that, thing. That that is my steam. If you really want to gift me the thing. I don't I don't like it, but I'll accept it. <laughs> But yeah, because like, especially like, 
with Turk specifically, like he finds some of the most random, weird out there things. Like I would have never thought like he found like the habanero ice cream or whatever it was. And I'm like, I did not think this was a thing. Why are you? I think you... it wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> right? Like you already have the ice cream. It's it's already there. <laughs> but like at the same time, I can 100% understand it like actually being horrible. <laughs> I no longer have it. last week. Mm-hmm. That, that's where I draw the line. That That is gross. How, so so okay so we'll we'll go into this line of questioning now. How much would it take for you to eat like some kind of insect on a stream? You you can't you can't pay me enough. <laughs> There's no amount of money like heat. I can hit. That's just pain. I can get past that. I'm not mm-hmm. touching anything that's gross like that. No, no spiders. No no scorpions. Not doing it. Well, see, okay, so I spiders or scorpions. Okay, but like I'm just talking like a cricket or something like that. Would you would you would you do that? Like would you do any kind of like or is it just simply no to any of those? I could do a deep fried cricket and it still wouldn't be affordable. <laughs> <laughs> fair. Absolutely fair. So, like a baby cricket, I'd be like, yeah, 250,000 bits right now. Is that $250? <laughs> that's about the cost it would take. <laughs> One stream, that's all you get. <laughs> all right, I so you heard it here first, folks. $250, and he'll eat a bug. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No way. <laughs> it has to be in one donation, too. That's one person, one I, time. That's- I mean, you know, I did the. I didn't think we were gonna hit the 10k, but you know, here we are. <laughs> but that's why I keep making it more specific because there's people are crazy. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I still have the uh, the what was it? The one on my stream for if like people, someone pays me three hundred dollars, I'll do a maid stream outfit. If someone pays me five hundred, I'll do a twenty-four hour maid stream out. <laughs> like, so yeah, it, it it's all about getting it down to like the specifics. Yes, yes, we do, bunny. We do all have those unattainable redeems. You are correct. <laughs> unattainable for a reason. So yeah, so go so going into like uh you know stuff like that with the streams and everything uh recently you did the stream where you uh what was it you did the e-girl makeup and everything how 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 was that how how fun like describe that experience to us so don't buy cheap makeup is what i learned that day because it it didn't it wasn't as bright (laughs) as it it showed but it was it was a lot of fun i practiced ahead of time Mm -hmm. um i still have the uh, the nose ring somewhere but no, it was it was a lot of fun. Um, that was one of those things that so nerd one of my mods made me an emote, mm-hmm. and let's see, let's, I'll post it. And it, it was just like, hey, I'm taking a screenshot of your face, and then made that for me. So I'm like, you know what? Let's let's do something with that. <laughs> so we hit some goals in August, and uh, and there I was. I had some some nice pink lipstick. The I had some glitter on my face. I still find mm-hmm. glitter in the room. There was it was everywhere. So there did you? Fun. Did you have someone help you like with the no. makeup at first no. or did you just like just go at me. it? It was all me. No, no, like videos like on how to put oh, makeup on. OK, I OK. Yeah. OK, because like, yeah, like I was like, honestly, because I, I couldn't tell because like obviously I jumped in. I was making, mm-hmm. I think, furniture or something at the time. Um, And I was just looking and I'm like he looks like he either had someone do it or he watched enough YouTube videos to pass by himself. So you're saying I look good. I'll take it. <laughs> and yet he did a horrible job. Ooh, okay. you're, you're being called out by uh, one of the gooses in chat. I know. I see that. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm only ever very nice to goose. And this is, this is how she repays me. Well, Except for when we're in <laughs> Among Us. She started it. <laughs> I just wanted to play the game, be nice, have a good time with friends, and no. Fine, next time tell me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we're getting we're getting spicy in chat now. Jeez. The, uh, the, the worst part of that day though was when I was on the toilet and Toe shot me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> in the game, not not real life. <laughs> and then I found your body. <laughs> and I thought I was supposed to be in the toilet, and then I just, you know, toe was outside the bathroom with a, with a gun, mm-hmm. and shot me in the head. Country. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. All right. So yeah. So we'll go. We'll go into this line of uh, questions now and stuff. So, def, def, what what is your defense to that? Like, what is like? So obviously, for those that don't know, country is of the 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 mindset that tunneling and camping and stuff, especially uh, you know when like you're in a very competitive game like Dead by Daylight, is it? It, it is a strategy. So yeah, would you like to go into more details about that country? Defend I mean, Kat's yourself. Clearly, just upset that I murdered her every single time. That, that's all there is to it. Like, don't get downed if you don't want to, you know, be camped and tunneled. Um, but I was the superior player. I came out on top. Goose, Goose beat me. I'm not going to sit here and pretend. You know, I'm not going to lie. But I was just better than Cat. <laughs> Toxic bunny. Conf- <laughs> Goose. Uh... I, I got news for you, buddy. You, you're a little bit of a toxic survivor, so. <laughs> and you're upset I lived two out of three games. Okay, okay. There, there is, there are some absolute slams going around in chat right now. <laughs> I was trying to kill Goose. That was that was goal number one of the game, and it didn't happen. So. Fair and understandable. Well, yeah. I got over it like three months later. It's fine now. I, I was still about it, but we're I was definitely trying to kill a certain goose myself during uh, my last Dead by Daylight stream on here, and other goose kept getting in the way. So unfortunately, a random toe had to be sacrificed instead. But yeah, no, no hard feelings though, right, toe? <laughs> He did have great lighting. Toe had wonderful lighting to die to. <laughs> can we ban Goose? Not for saying in like wrong things, but for saying it publicly. J- just say, just ban both Gooses. It just no chance there. <laughs> Honestly, you got the end of the stick, Toe, just because you were the person I kept finding. <laughs> so I was just like, well, I want to get a kill. And so then, yeah, you just you kind of got the short end of the stick there. I do apologize. But yes, uh, anyone else have any quotient questions for. Uh... <laughs> Listen, you all, I, I told you multiple times, take me to goose and I'll let you live. And you kept running away from me and trying to escape. I did. I ge- I did give up on you so so many times. You are correct. <laughs> but yes, chat. Any more questions for the lovely country here? You we do have him for just a little bit longer before we go into our last and final announcements for the thing. So yeah, what is a uh, goose Diz just tied? Absolutely, bunny. Any final questions? You are a goose. <laughs> that is true. Country, why do you suck at DVD? I don't know. I've so I'll I'll kind of defend Country here a little bit, and then he can talk. But like I've seen his uh, DVD nerves, and it it is a little bit of a horrifying sight. He 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 definitely knows how to nurse better than a lot of people that I know. But yeah, that that's my opinion at least. No, we're gonna stick with that. Did you hear that, Goose? I'm better than you. Is what he said. And you just got lucky. I don't know if I said that exactly, word for but word, yeah. direct quote. <laughs> Goose, don't hate me, please. <laughs> I, I I do somewhat plan on participating in a certain event that I'm going to be listing here shortly. So, like, if Goose does participate in this, I'm going to be very horrified against going up against her. <laughs> Any final questions? Last call, everybody. Kuki, welcome in. Would you like to ask Country anything? Anything at all? He He's down to answer most questions. I haven't turned on a question yet. Mm-hmm. This is a very truth, truthful statement. <laughs> ask 
thighs for it. It's huge. Okay. <laughs> it's the biggest thing I've ever seen. Want to see me as a baby? Look, look, this thing hasn't changed. Where, are, where's, are, where's me as a baby? Hold on. Are we getting second. a picture of you as a baby? It's, it's my emote. <laughs> there, there's me as a baby. My that forehead hasn't shrunk a little. That is a very bit. big forehead. forehead. I'm not even going to lie to you. Well, hey, there you go. You're getting some cutes and adorables in chat. I'm saying, just with a massive forehead <laughs> that hasn't <laughs> shrunk or went down proportionally at all. Baby country. <laughs> all right. So, so. That's there too, but. <laughs> that one's slightly scratched. J- just maybe a little bit. <laughs> all right. Well. Unless anyone has, once again, one final call for questions, I think we'll end it here. We'll do our final announcements and everything. <laughs> okay, who brought... I, I think we answered that one, Blade. So, Country just kind of appeared. Found he, a link, clicked it, and showed up. and never left. And here we are today. He found SSS, not the other way around. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much to everyone for coming in and everything. We do have just a couple more announcements. Um, did you get through all of yours, country? I don't remember. No, I can speed run through them though. They're they're pretty short here. Yeah. Um, one second. I want to make sure that I get the right thing. Okay. First, since this is our first interview ever, um, going back through the month of September, we did have four people hit affiliate. So we have Very Corpse, who was in here earlier, uh, playing playing some Doom recently. They hit affiliate. Uh, Practical Porsche, who was in here earlier, playing some Stardew. The Hierophant, playing Final Fantasy fourteen. Who was also in here earlier. Also in here earlier. And Dan's Wolf Den, who was the most recent one, playing Batman. So those Congrats four people all hit to all of you. And then the last thing that I have is this little link here. And this is for the Spot- Spotlight Awards. We do have... What, six people? At least, if your name is on there and uh, we didn't post it, it's in the announcements, I'll mm-hmm. let us know. We'll get you added. We've got Bunny as the best VTuber, uh, Kareen as the best VTuber, uh, Carzival as the best horror streamer, uh, Ninja Aiden and Snacks, both in a different best horror streamer, and then Assassin with the best mod team. So there's that link. You can go ahead and click it. Vote for the people you want. Either SSS or, you know, if you have, if you have friends that you see, there's a lot of lot of things out there. There's what twenty pages for yes. one of the the voting. So yes, it, a lot of names out there, big and small. Definitely, when you do do it, make sure like obviously you don't have like anything else to do for a few minutes because it it's a large list of people. A lot of pages. And if you want to vote for people within our group. It, it again is an announcements and it gives you the exact page that they're on. So you don't skip over people like someone in this thing might have done not putting myself out there or anything. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry, Kaz. I would have voted for you if I had seen you. <laughs> yeah, that's all I have. So thank you. It's some announcements, right? Yes. So. Um, so, and this is more kind of, kind of a little bit, uh, just announcements for, um, events in general. Um, so obviously we, we are trying to do more events and everything. Um, if you guys do have any ideas for events, please be, feel free to let us know about them. Um, because you know, we're always looking for new things to do. This is going to become a normal thing, um, that we're going to be doing, I think we said every week or every other week. I don't remember. One of those two. We might play with the times a little bit too, so that more people can come in here. Maybe sneak in a weekend. So exactly. We more of the yeah. UK folks. Um. But so so look forward to chats and shouts for that and everything. Um. And then so obviously everyone knows what next month is. It, we're we're on the final week of September, and after September comes October, comes spooky season. Um, so what better way to celebrate spooky season than to bring back a fan favorite from, um, 
last year with the Dead by Daylight tournament and everything. Yes, Halloween. Let's go. Favorite t- favorite favorite holiday, hands down. Um, but so we will have uh, a bit more information on that when uh, we, you know, do a bit more planning and everything. It's going to be around the same uh, format and everything as last year. Um, Goose is going to be, you know, hosting it for us on here, and I will be co-hosting for all of you wonderful people. Um, just giving wonderful commentary on all of the wonderful killers and survivors that we'll get there, I believe, and you can correct me on this goose if I'm wrong, but, um, I believe there will be prizes based on how well you do. Um, I do believe that's how it was ran last year, correct? Yeah. So, uh, last year what we did is we had people volunteers, either killer or survivor, uh, set up a couple teams. I believe we had. Three teams and three killers, so every team faced off against every killer once. Mm -hmm. And what we did is we kept a running tally of the score from each match, and our top killer and our top survivor both got a prize. And it it, it was a little crazy, and then uh, we had an all-star match at the end, which I'm definitely not bitter about Will escaping. Um, (laughs) But we'll see if we have time for another a special one at the end to cause some chaos. Uh, mm-hmm. Basically, there will be um, there will be a sign up put out in a bit. Um, give us at least a few days to get everything organized, uh, where you guys can start signing up as to whether you want to play killer or survivor. We'll arrange some teams. It'll be randomized, so you're not going to come in and just get to pick your teammates. Uh, we're going to shuffle up everyone that's competing, um, and we'll do our best to get everybody in. Obviously, there may be space limitations depending on the mm-hmm. response we get. And then when the day comes, uh, each team will take turns uh, facing off against different killers uh, to find out who the winner is. There will be uh, prizes, I mentioned, uh, for our top performers. We might make it the top two survivors this year since um, obviously there's more survivors than killers. So, mm-hmm. you know. um, plus, uh, we got to make it fair. We got plenty of prizes we can give away because um, all that stuff you guys were doing, the bits and the subs and everything you guys just did, even this stream. Uh, getting us to recon's goal uh, that all goes back into the community that's used for prizes um, and running the server and expenses and stuff like that um, believe it or not no one on the council gets paid um, if they nope. do i want to know who that way i can at least match their paycheck but as far as i'm aware um you know no other council member has gotten uh paid out from there uh but no we use it mainly for prizes and stuff and giveaways and so we want to hype you guys up also uh, to go along with that and Carzaval and Eddie considered this your preliminary heads up before I post in your CC Gen channel just to torment <laughs> you all again. Um, we'll be looking to put together a special channel for you guys to submit <laughs> Dead by Daylight clips. Yep. I-, I figured it was coming. It's happening. It's happening, guys. <laughs> you can't stop me. Yes. I'll send another minion. Um, <laughs> Feel uh, absolutely but, free to send us any and all Dead by Daylight clips that you yeah, think there will would be, be really a good. special channel arranged for that. That way, we don't uh, clog up all the other channels or whatever. Uh, we want to keep it in one place, plus, that makes it easier to sort. Last year, we had a wonderful um, highlight uh, promo video uh, featuring clips from all of you guys. Uh, may have been a creepy laugh at the end. I don't know where that one came from, uh, but we may use that again. Who knows? Um, but no, it was a fantastic video <laughs> that really built up the hype and I'm going to see if we can get something similar put together at the very least. Uh, so we can show off some of your all's favorite moments, whether it's uh, crazy skill moments or just epic fails. I hope to see some clips, uh, from when we had the snowmen. I know I'll be digging up my old snowman clips cause that was the best time of dead by daylight is when they had the snowmen. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, stay tuned for more announcements on that as always. Uh, keep an eye on the upcoming events channel. We only post in there when there's something specific to events, and then we delete when we get past that event. So it's a rather clean channel, uh, so you don't have to worry about getting overwhelmed by that channel. There's very little in there, only pertinent information for upcoming events. And if anyone is a pig main, Bunny yes. wants you to join. That's yes, what we, I'm hearing in this chat. A, <laughs> we must see Bunny die to a pig again. It was beautiful. Favorite moment of that tournament, hands down. (laughs) Uh, Do it. 
All right. Well, that is all for us, guys. Um, thank you so much for coming in. And a- a- again, quick, quick shout out, quick announcement. Um, do feel free to, uh, you know, use that redeem. Um, or if you would like to just like let country uh, goose or I know that you would like to be you know, interviewed and everything again, we haven't fully figured out if this is going to be a weekly bi-weekly or like how exactly our, uh, schedule and like everything for it is going to be. Why? Why goose? Funny day. (laughs) Oh, okay. (laughs) But yes, um, absolutely. Let us know if you would like to be interviewed. We do plan on continuing this. Um, and you know, getting to know, more people within our community and everything. It is definitely something we want to do. Um, so yeah, most definitely let us know and we will be more than happy to, you know, schedule with you guys, see what works and, uh, you know, get you in here and get you, get you interviewed so we can ask you all these wonderful questions and get to know a little bit more about you. Cause that is the goal. That is the dream. And we but, hydrate, by the way, <laughs> We did, but I I still haven't gotten any water. Shame. You just had to chug afterwards. Um, also, as promised, guys, um, had to show off the shirt. I went and changed while I was off camera just for you guys. Um, it's pretty freaking adorable, not going to lie. This is part of my disguise, though, for infiltrating the borough. Um, it's going <laughs> to happen. I'm sneaking in. And I'm working on the entire disguise. It's getting there. And we we're gonna sneak our way in and cause some chaos, set the place on fire, or just a you know enlist. I think there's a fire bunny that joined recently, and we'll see if they can, you know, help them burn the place down. Fair. All right, guys. So I'm gonna give you. Uh, so obviously, we're gonna be rating out to one of our stream members and everything. So I'll give you guys, you two, with me here. I'll give you an option. We're gonna either raid Calypse or Strike. Which would you prefer? What if we let what if we let the people decide? Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. I so the people, which would you prefer to raid? We have Calypse playing some Metal Hellsinger, I believe. Correct. Ooh, yes, oh. that's a good game. And Hellsinger, my bad. And then we have Strike, who is continuing his venture into Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We're told there's a featured. Oh, member there's a slide. featured member on. I don't it's see the featured. Yeah, I don't see a featured member on either. Who is it, Toe? I don't see it either. Let me see a few people that are supposedly live. I just see the two in now live. Oh, oh it's nasty! Isn't pop up my list. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Look into that. Oh no! Yeah, have... he he is popping up on my list. It's just. Yeah, huh. I for, I forget well, that he I doesn't have his uh his thing. So yeah. Oh, he might be offline on Discord. I'm looking, but either way, if he's live, then yeah, let's read a feature. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, we are gonna raid OGT then. The raid has been created. Sorry to everyone who was voting in the uh the poll. <laughs> Anyway, the votes so. have been denied. If you uh, if you want anyone to blame, it's a hundred percent Toe's fault. I will take no questions on that. I was gonna blame Bunny, but sure, we can blame Toe. I'll allow it. <laughs> Poll was a draw, anyways. Fair. Yes, more sleep so. time. Absolutely fair, Bunny. Absolutely fair. Commands? I don't think we do. I I All don't right. think oh, so. Yes, we do. Oh, we do. Look at that. Hells yeah. I don't know what's going on. I just sometimes hit that go live button. Other things happen in the background. (laughs) Fair. All right. So, yeah, just go ahead and uh, use that and, you know, get in there and shadow stream supporters raid like you've never shadow stream supporters raided before. At least out of them. At least until you get into like uh, one of one of our wonderful, you know, uh, raid trains that we run at certain times you guys should join those they're great absolutely love Don't them forget, guys sometime in the near future watch for that announcement i uh, will have recon playing getting over it here live on the sss channel big hype 
Yeah. Do uh, d- don't you dare. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, why do I do these things to myself? Oh, thank goodness those bunny ears are getting a little tight on my head. I, too, have a massive noggin. Yeah, fair. Same. <laughs>